Now, I wonder it wasn't capturing my microphone because it wasn't connected. It's like, oh, I hear myself. Which I don't know why it got unconnected. Very weird. Anyway, now it should be working. And I should actually hear background audio as well. Yeah, okay, we're all good now. <laughs> Everything's fixed. Now, I need to figure out what to do from here. Because we're here, we can pass stuff through. And then, what's the red one doing again? Right, he's stuck in this place, so he needs to just worry about the others. Um, hmm. I mean, we have the baby phone. Actually, no, do this. It's so exciting right now. I want to remain with... It's so... I so he doesn't want to give away the baby phone. And I don't see a point why we give away the nucleic acid. I prefer to use gold yeah. Um... Hmm. Hmm. What is the point in being able to have this Cletus see down here? You huh? What is it? Okay, what if I send him down the pipe? Oops, wrong one. What if I send him like No, not through that one, through this one. And now he's Game. Why did you freeze, game? That scares me. Uh, but yeah, if we now go to the blue one and call for him. Yoo -hoo. Huh? What was that? Anybody there? Hello? Nah, probably just my imagination. Oh, rats. Nobody there. Uh, I mean, almost. It did something. It wasn't a good something, but it did something. You huh? What was that? Anybody there? Hello? Nah, probably just my imagination. Oh, rats. Nobody there. Let me try to do that for a second time. See if it does anything. You huh? Hey. Okay, it doesn't do anything different if I do it again. Um. How in Deponia did she get down there? Hold on, I'll save you. There's only so many ways you can go. There it is. <laughs> there it is. The nucleic acid that I can use to grow gold up again. Luckily, the cylinder still seems to be in one piece, and the fish was already swimming in it. Yeah, wait. I mean, the fish. That's not a problem. <laughs> Nothing. Huh, nobody seems to be sending on this frequency right now. Mm-hmm. Um... I really don't know what I could do. I don't know if there's a certain order that you have to do it in. Or what? Oh, there's gotta be some some sort of trick. So I can go up here. But that doesn't help me at all. Forgot this barrel. That's probably because the label with the destination is missing. Oppenbot, that's What can we do with said barrel? We can go to the goods. Switched off the transporter. Looks like I'm back to square one. What about this way? Oppenbot switch. Only there were a way to reactivate it. Reactivate. 
that is the upper ascension station somewhere up there. The last high boat to Elysium is waiting, but not much better. I have to hurry. Hmm. I'm guessing I somehow have to put a destination on the barrel so the open bot will activate those things again and take us in, maybe. I'd better not get his attention. He may be a useless trash can, but he's a useless trash can in the service of the organist. He'd rat me out to Argus right away. Well, so there's a thingy, there's a green thingy there. Like the pipes that go down. <sighs> Don't see how I could do much, I'm going to be honest. We can go back down here, but then all I can interact with is Storm Drain, which has him say hello. And then they talk. Hmm. Intriguing. I'm gonna go like such a hint. I don't know what to do. So we go over here. Okay. Where are we up to? Water bailiff really comes out of the bar. Up it. Right, Rufus Argus calls his guards to attention, thinking that the rebels are attacking. Blood, blood exchange, change the reflugus, take a picture of Elysium. When he gets a picture of Elysium, to right Rufus, middle Rufus cannot do this. Change back to right Rufus, go back to the platform, use the picture of Elysium. Ah, the barrel. Okay, that should help me a little bit. I still don't know how I'm going to get down here, but, you know, picture of Elysium, over to Green Rufus, Green Rufus, give picture of Elysium to Blue Rufus, Blue Rufus, put picture of Elysium on the barrel, on the barrel. We do that. Express cargo to Elysium. Recipient will pay shipping. Now we get in the barrel. Uh, um, anybody there? Look, there's Elysium. Open bot. Hello. Open bot. Look, this barrel has to go to Elysium. What you know? There's still one barrel left that's bound for Elysium. I'd better get that on its way, and fast. Although I do ask myself why the Elysium Bailiff would need an entire barrel full of leeches. Oh. I mean, you know, they have their reasons. They Go. probably no. have their reasons. Now that is a problem. That is a... I see it. This one also goes down the whirlpool, though. I'm coming. Hey, it's a free water slide. Let's go. There. Now this must have been the very last barrel. The bailiff will be happy. I had better report to him right away. Is this counted as part of the thing? We shouldn't this that was disgusting but it was worth it i finally made my way to ascension customs and i got rid of that old case of blood poisoning once and for all so now my way to the ascension codes is clear i was gonna say how much blood have you lost rufus yeah shouldn't this have been put on the actual high boat not just outside of it where all the doors are locked i don't know that might just be me but i guess we can go through there which brings us to this area. Aha. Uh -huh. And also, how's Green Rufus going? He's just forever falling. Noted. 
Okay, there's a safe. I shouldn't do that. Unless I know the code, it might trigger an alarm. Okay, there's a screen. That interior decorator ought to be fire. Okay, there's dictaphone, whatever that is. Dictaphone. Let's have a look, shall we? Memo. <laughs> Memo to, uh, no, the cartridge is in the safe. The combination is... <laughs> this is almost too easy. Four, four, three, seven. Uh-oh. That was Cletus at there. the start. Surrounded by idiots. All right, it's taken care of. Now I need to put on those silly clothes and get the cartridge. da da da, -da. cowboy dodo, cowboy dodo. Rats, looks like I'm in hot water now. And I didn't get the safe combination either. Yeah, you didn't. So does Rufus know that that wasn't the real combination? He knows that the first half was Rufus, right? No, 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 you were wrong. This convolute screen will be the stage uh, for the last big scene of my comedy of mistaken identity. No, uh, not the last, but but one of the last big ones. J j j just wait for it. I'm really glad that Simona's team of animators was much too exhausted already when we planned the screen very late during the production. They didn't have the energy to protest and just sadly shook their heads and said, Oh, yes, well, okay, and that one too, uh-huh. Oh yes, there's a lot of animations going on in this room and it's pretty amazing we got all this to work at the same time. Ah, I take a little bow to Simon or Scripture. Okay, are we gonna try and... No, nope, we're gonna sneak under the desk, I see. And into the pipe? You should sneak into the pipe, Rufus. I feel like it would be such a better hiding spot. Oh great, now I look a total twat. But I guess that was the plan. Which, by the way, is almost complete. Now I just need to fetch the cartridge from the safe. If only I could remember that stupid combination. Off in bot! Are you cool? Ah! Intruder! Nonsense, you nitwit! It's me, Argus! I'm only wearing this grotesque outfit for invading Elysium! Oh, that's all right. Nothing is alright. We can forget the invasion if people keep losing my things for me. This time my dictaphone's gone missing. Would you know anything about it? Well, I think I may have to check my memory for that. Then what are you waiting for? These annoying slip-ups are jeopardizing our success! Okay, um... Okay, so I can do that thing. Uh, desk. Alarm. Alarm off. Probably because the alarm is off. Okay. Well, dictaphone, grab that, put that on the desk. Then you'll be able to open the safe, and all will be lost. I don't even think it's the real thing, Rufus. He sounded like Cletus halfway through, and then he suddenly sounded like Argus. Who would have thought it? There's actually somebody who looks even stupider. Okay, let's go to the window. And from the window, we can what was that? open it Better. and close it. Because he hears it opening, but doesn't hear it closing. There's actually... um, okay, green Cletus. Still falling. All we can do is here. Mini game. Now I want to listen to Pokey. Let me listen to Pokey. Okay. No. Pokey. I want to listen to. Just come on.
Why? Why? Just oh, oh. As there we go. Medium, the mini data cartridge unfortunately never took off. That's very unfortunate considering its vast potential. Also, back then I transferred most of my uh, cartridges to mini cartridges. <laughs> now I can only throw them away. Damn. Well, play. My game froze. Freaking play froze my game. Oh no. This seems bad. The, cart the combination is... Huh? What was that? Anybody here? I'm here, sir. I'm not talking to you, puppy butt. But there is nobody else. Yeah. Less contradicting, more computing. Speaking of which, how far along is your data check? Oh, now you've got me confused. I'll have to start again. Then get on with it. Ah, oh, that was a close one. I've got to be more careful. Eject. Grab the cartridge. Close the cartridge. Now, back, dictaphone, place a desk. Ah, I've got it. The dictaphone should be lying right behind you on the desk. You imbecilic lunkhead. I know that. Do you really think I buy Ulysses whiskers? Little by little, I'm going mad. It's as if that rufus were contagious. You're dismissed, Oppenbot. Thank you, sir. Now, oh, nothing. Don't tell me you're malfunctioning again, you filthy piece of scrap. Hello, hello, talk to me. Do you hear? Talk to me. Hello, hmm. Talk to me. Alarm off. Hmm. Nothing. That's do you hear? Because the talk alarm to me. Got. Hello. Now, what can we do with the mini cartridge? Is the question. What was that? Talk to me. Better. Do you hear? Use the mini Talk cartridge on me. the window. Rufus, Rufus, this isn't the time for wisecracks. Okay, don't do that. Hello. Use the mini cartridge on the desk. Talk to me. And it wouldn't get me anywhere. Do you there hear? Are more Talk to me! There are more discreet ways of doing this. Hmm. Hello? Talk to me! <clears throat> Nothing. That's probably because the alarm is off. Do you hear? Talk to me! Focus, Rufus. This isn't the t Look, I'm trying everything I can think of, Rufus. Hello? I'm thinking of everything I can. Talk to me. Uh, cartridge set combination 4437. Oh, we can actually just. The cartridge is in the safe. The combination is I M N E D O T. <laughs> what nonsense! My safe has a numerical code. Did I say I M N E D O T? Correction. His position is in the position of Rufus, the coolest people for Uh He's on the safe, fell behind the desk. Uh, 4437. The is in the safe. The combination is 4437. La, I knew there was a 7 in there. <laughs> you got a little surprise coming. What the... Is everything all right? Does it sound like everything's all right, Offenbot? Switch off that blasted alarm now! But are you quite sure that you're yourself, sir? Offenbot! All right, all right. Uh, which button switches off the alarm again? Could it be this one? No, it's no. under the desk, Offenbot. No, oops. No, no, I can't focus on that.
Uh, maybe we put them together again. Before I erase the message, I should memorize the combination. The cartridge is in the safe. The combination is... Did you say something, Dave? What? Oh, nothing. Rats. I can't listen to the message okay. as long as Oppenbot is hanging around. I think I know what I gotta do. No. No. He can't hang around. I just gotta go over this way. And I can open the window. And listen to it here. I better not try that again. He's already suspicious. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can turn it off. Ah, oh, that must have been the right button. It worked, Bellif. No, you were just hitting the three buttons over and over. Excellent. Up and by. May I ask how this mishap came to pass, sir? If only I knew. I'm sure that I entered the combination correctly, as stated on the dictaphone. This is just... I don't believe it. Where has that rotten thing disappeared to now? Oppenbot! I'm still here, sir. Yes, but my dictaphone isn't. If my memory suffices, then it must be lying on your desk, sir. Check your memory, then. This instant. As you wish. Um... Okay, so this is now open. I can go out the window. Now we listen. is in the safe. The combination is 4473. Oh, 4473. Four, Just like Gold's birthday. No, wait, wasn't that 4437? Four, four, or 4347? Four, four, yeah, who cares? Just as long as okay. it's easy to remember. 4473. Four, 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 uh, something. It's similar to Gold's birthday. I'll remember it. Hopefully. Oh, actually, no. Uh, put the hatch down. Record it. Over it. On. Is 4437. Maybe I say this one. Is in the of Rufus, the of all. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. <laughs> but darn it. This isn't going to get me anywhere. I need to try a different approach. Um, cartridge on the safe. Um, it fell behind the desk. The cartridge is not in the safe. It fell behind the desk. <laughs> I may be onto something. Okay, let's try that then. So we come in. Behind here. Place the dictaphone on the desk. <laughs> now to get out of here. Beep. Self-analysis complete. No errors found. The probability that the cartridge is right behind you is 98%. Oh, really? So how do you explain... this? It's right there. Smoking bucket of rust. There it is. At last. Can if rust even smoke if you, like, senses? set it on fire? Yes, I feel like it wouldn't. Different. I don't know. The cartridge is not in the safe. It fell behind the desk. Yes, wouldn't be the first time. I'd better check that right away. Now we go out. Oh. Um, window over here in Argus's office over to the safe now, what was that again? 4473 no drop yourself Wait, Rufus shit how can I work with this thing going on off and off Why did that alarm go off again? I don't know, Bayless. So what are you waiting for? Switch it off. 
I'm just a simple lamp. One more try. What was it again? Oh yeah. Gold birthday. Not Gold's birthday. Right. That wasn't Gold's birthday anyway. Good thing I can never remember. Yeah, it was 4473. Okay, grab the cartridge. <laughs> the ascension code. At last. Now clo close it. Rufus, get out, but you close it behind you so they keep messing around, Rufus. That's what you do. Look, you close it. There's another rebel. Go get him. Uh oh. Yeah, Rufus, why didn't you close the safe the safe Where behind you? Go? Where did Pooh go? An intruder just ran in here. Wait a moment. Hey, you, come out of there at once. Better move on, or shall I make you? Come out, I bet. Can I even interact with anything? That is true, exactly. Come out of there at once. Better move on, or shall I make you? Bayless, is that you? Uh, of course it... Of, of course it's me. Mind your own business, man. Your colleague needs help with that intruder. Very well, Bayless. So they know the plan of me dressing up as Cletus. That's it. Time's up. Guess that was it. Wasn't it? Just a second. The other two. What the? Ah! Hey, they made it. Ouch. Is this a bad time to drop in? Oh, contraire. We were just about to aim the cannon so we can blow Elysium out of the sky once and for all. Say what? Did you mess this up? Oh, contrary, alter ego. I explained to him that it isn't necessary because you can save gold, right? Consider it done. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sure this is going to be an absolute highlight. You bet it is. Okay, hey, just, just give the nucleic acid to baby gold, and baby gold ain't so baby gold anymore. Have Gold's hair color. Is Gold a clone? Ha, 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 ha. Bravo! That was even funnier than I expected. But enough, Lefty. We have a paradise to shoot out of huh. the sky. Duck! No! What did Stop! Hermes do? It's too late, Rufus. You had your chance, and you screwed up yet again. Go ahead, Doc. Aim that cannon. I'm sorry, Rufus. No, no. No. The other Rufus has the ascension codes. Enough. Open the cannon doors. No, guys, stop! The other Rufus has his engine codes. Good. Is the loading chamber closed? Oops, that almost went terribly wrong. Stop! 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 You, you really can't do that. Is there no one here on my side? Why are you looking at me? Why would they be? You already proved to us rather impressively that there are no alternatives. But there is. The third Rufus can still save the day. Exactly. That's what I was saying. Ooh, button. I didn't even notice the button. Press the button. Press the button. Boop. There we go. Uh, code entry. This is where the ascension codes must be entered. But there's also a cartridge slot. Ah, uh, just put the cartridge. Into there. Quick, hide. Rufus, Rufus, Rufus! Hold your horses! Are you really going to leave without goal? Goal is safe. You don't have your back straight. Bring the girl. Goal! 
You're back to being yourself. But how did you get here? Where's the other Rufus? I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you mean? Who cares what's going on in that convoluted brain of his? Cole was never dead. There was actually an accident with a defective interrogation robot. But of course, we were able to save her. We threw the robot overboard. And that other woman, that Donna. But Hermes. And now that everything is settled, hand over the Ascension codes or your girlfriend will really be thrown from the tower. Oh, crap. Her dead body was thrown from the cruiser, along with me. You appear to be suffering from hallucinations. But no, it did look and I mean now. just like gold. Listen to me, will ya? I know that the third Rufus is still out there. So what? It can be fixed. You always say that. In your whole life, you've never fixed anything. Face it, will That is you? not He's true. Going to fail as well. Just like you. So apologize. And then we can finally carry on. What do you mean do you apologize? Mean, apologize. For what? Do you really not know? Do you have no idea what you do to your friends? Again and again and again? Is this really necessary now? I think we have more important things to do. No, no, no. He needs to learn his lesson. So, Rufus, we're waiting. Um... Hmm... I only wanted to help. Don't give me that. You only wanted to help yourself. I founded the resistance for one thing, and I'm perfectly capable of learning. No, you didn't. You we just did. You used them to impress Goal so she would take you to Elysium with her. And not even now, after you have killed her, can you admit that you failed. Will Deponia really have to explode before you realize that you are harming everybody? Cut him some slack there, will ya? It's not his fault that the Organon intends to blow up Deponia. Maybe not, but having his way is obviously more important to him than preventing the destruction of the planet. That's not true at all. Prove it then. Go ahead. Apologize. We're waiting. I'm not he's not going to apologize. Oh hey, how's the pony going? The pony's going pretty good. Um I can tell that we're coming to the end. But um Yeah, how are you going, Frenzy? I feel like he. We could blame it on how he raised us, because he he wasn't even All of there. This because of the way you raised me. There you go again, passing the blame. You are completely and utterly unable to learn anything at all. You will always be the same loser that you were as a child. Loser child. I'm not a loser, and I'm perfectly capable of learning. Prove it then. Go ahead. Apologize. We're waiting. I'm gonna go through all of the options. You humiliate me. Don't try to wriggle out of this one. It's time that you took responsibility for your actions. So, do it. We're waiting. I am definitely not going to apologize. Oh, yes, you are. I will drag you by the ears if I have to. Do you really have to lay into him like that? We all saw it. He messed it up. So why are you being so cruel to him now? I want to hear it from him. Go ahead, Rufus. Apologize. We're waiting. We're waiting. Uh, I'm going good. That's good to hear then. Um, I guess there's only one choice, isn't there? I guess right. we wait. So we wait. The third Rufus can still turn the tide. And once he succeeded, you can apologize to me. Huh. You sickening son of a... Oh! Seagull, what are you doing? This is what? really going too far. Put down the weapon. Yes. Wouldn't he like that? I've had it with this little bastard leading me by the nose. I demand to hear an apology now. Loud and clear, I said now. Does it really matter that much? Yeah. Go ahead and shoot me. Then everybody will see who the real asshole is here. You would rather die than admit it, huh? Wish do it already. Just up. 
Apologize. I'm not going to apologize. It was all his fault. What? That's not true. It's his fault. It's your fault. Three times more. No return ticket. Hey, no fair. It is two. Silence! Will you apologize already? Both of you! My finger might slip. He's gone off the deep end. Somebody do something. What can we do? He's got a weapon. <laughs> They've got a point. Why don't you apologize so we can get this over with? I mean, Tony could just like kick him and then have get put down the weapon because he's obviously mentally insane at this point. All right, all right. I apologize. What? Why would you do that? Trust me, we should apologize. You got something in your eye? I am beginning to lose my patience with a pair of you. With me too? But why? He's the one to blame for everything. He's got Gold's fate on his conscience. <laughs> yeah, and much more than that. He stole everything that wasn't nailed down. It's so switch to Red Rufus. He destroyed Bozo's cut. Ooh, I can interact with stuff. He's gone off he the drowned deep Tony's gold Somebody fish. do something. What can we do? He drowned Tony's what if I just fish. Unplug it. Hey, hands off. That's exactly what I'm talking about. He's always causing trouble. He's responsible okay, what if for the we just the polar ice cap. Dr. Donna. He humiliated Wenzel. He okay, what if we talk to Tony? Off the deep end. Come on, Rufus. He stole everything that wasn't apologize? nailed down. What if we talk to Seagull? I'm sorry. He laid waste okay. to half of Kuba. No, he said it. He okay, well, they're Tony's distracting him. It's so exciting right now. It's he so assassinated the yeah. president. Nothing's doing. It's so exciting right now. Why can't I go to the Blue Rufus? Down. <laughs> He's the one we need to work. You know. Stranger. He's the last one he <laughs> that can do something. He humiliated okay. Uh, okay, oh good. Um, he what more can explosion. we do? Okay. He's responsible for the melting of the polar ice cap. Seagull is expecting me to do he assassinated stupid, the president. But I'm not going to do him a favor. He laid waste to half of Kubak. I can't expect any help from her. He assassinated mm -hmm. the president. I don't believe it. Doc is working for Seagull. He's responsible for the melting of the polar ice cap. It's not even right, Bozo. Help me he now. drugged cats. Oh, my own. Uh, can the other Rufus do anything? I mean, I can't interact with the other Rufus, and I also can't choose any of the other Rufuses down here. So I'm stuck as the green Rufus. And I can't change that one or anything. Hmm. Where's Gold? He assassinated the president. What he more can I interact cats. with, or do? Okay, I'm sorry. No, you aren't. He's, He's responsible the for the melting of the we polar do? ice caps. He we can, cats. obviously. I said hands off. You see, it's and yes, it's his fault that. That's enough. Mom died. Oh, okay. We just had to keep doing stuff. <laughs> Oh, I feel like that's not a good place to jump. So, what's it going to be? Will you give me the codes? Don't give them to him. But he'll have you tossed from the tower. One of us has to make it to Elysium. I can't be and did Rufus die? Death again. I didn't like it one bit the last time. What nonsense are you talking now? Are you going to do it? In the meantime, I could easily have made myself another copy of the cartridge. What? You didn't really think I hadn't stored the data anywhere else. It's called a backup. Well, I had always asked myself what was going to be your last crucial mistake, Rufus. I think I know now. Often boss. Throw the woman from the tower. But let's go. Oppenbot, you would don't do it, Oppenbot. Oppenbot, don't. Oh, you know no! you're better than that. He wasn't falling for very long. Ah. Uh, hmm. <laughs>
Oh no! Surprise! So you thought you could escape me, huh? What for? What good would it do? No idea. Buy some time? Time! Time! Time for what? Well, I I'm sure the third Rufus has a plan. You're acting like a baby. Just face it! Rufus number three screwed it up, and so did you! We never did such things as screw up. We just had things that didn't quite go as planned. And everybody has times when things don't quite go as planned. I'm not acting like a baby! Oh, yes you are. Rufus number three didn't screw it up! It's right, we have a call coming in. Give us one uh, minute. What's that? Oh, my baby phone's ringing. <laughs> uh, yeah, hello? I screwed up! Oh, I see. Uh, it's right, thanks. Um, that was Rufus. He, he said he screwed it up. <laughs> and mine, he didn't screw up. He saved the day. I'm not. Oh, dang it. Click the fucking tank. Fine, if you're gonna get that mad, I'll click the tank. Yeah, how's how's Rufus two going, or Rufus one? Hey, hey, what's the big idea? Just pull it together. <laughs> and ha. Uh, and yet another ha, ha. Uh, the following uh -huh. scene might have worked as a video cutscene as well, but I tried to make these sequences as interactive as possible. So here you can play that crazy mini mini nano game against yourself. Mini mini nano game. I love mini mini nano hey. games. Hey, I'm driving. No, I'm driving. I feel like the one who hasn't been shot should probably drive. Uh, I mean, that's probably the most Rufus has ever shown pain or been hurt in this entire series. Have we just backed into the cannon? Are we going to be shot? <laughs> the tank's going to be shot to Elysium. yourself so heavy we've still got work to do i'm afraid you'll have to do it without me i'm not gonna make it what no are you talking about of is one. Make it. no no he hit me pretty badly after all you're on your own again now promise me that you'll save gold and deponia and that you'll make it to elysium do it <coughs> do it for me damn this, this is actually sad hang in there you can make it no it's too late. It's so dark. You need to stay awake. Do you hear me? Don't give up now. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Just as long as they don't make me repair junk presses on the other side. <laughs> don't leave me now. You'll manage without me. You've always muddled through on your own. Having to share the Great. glory would have been awkward anyway. I can't go on without you! Oh yes you can, and you know that. Deep down in your heart, I... <laughs> What's going on with his... Left... Right eye. The... Uh, bit off. I love you! <laughs> I know. I'm way cool. <laughs> Farewell, Rufus. No. Rufus, no! Rufus one. Oh, Rufus, Rufus. <laughs> Is this gonna take much longer? I don't want to seem unromantic, but we've still got a few gigantic.
That's not good. That's it, I guess. You finally succeeded in killing everyone after all. The cannon was our last chance. And now it's plugged up. We are all going Shoot to die. And it's all the your fault. Tank. Thank you so very much. Do it. But stop that. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Are you serious about blaming Rufus? Where would you be without him now? Like he's still at home in Kuvak or the floating black market. Everyone doing their own thing. You wouldn't even have looked up when the bomb towers opened their hatches. It was him who brought you here. He fought for you and he does have planet. a point. Even though you all hate him, he could have gone to Elysium with me on several occasions, but he didn't because he refused to sacrifice Deponia to get his way. And now you all damn him for doing the same thing for Elysium. Goal? <gasps> Goal! You're alive and looking good. And and you're alive. But But why? Where, where, where have you been? It's a long story. But at the end, Argus threw me from the top of the Upper Ascension Station. Rufus, well, one of the Rufuses, jumped after me. And he caught me just before I hit the ground. Then he lost control of his flying robot thing and crashed. Yeah, often right. Fortunately, I fell off and managed a soft landing on a burrito stool. May I interrupt you briefly? Despite this joyful reunion, hello, Go. Tony, we are still doomed to die, remember? Leave him be, Tony. It doesn't matter. There's nothing left for us to do. I refuse to believe that. There must be another way. I have an idea. You shoot us in the what tank. What are you looking at me for? My plan was using the cannon. Do we you still really can. I would have considered that if I had seen another way. If it's a plan you want, you'll have to ask Rufus. Are you serious? Goodbye, cool world. They really don't believe in Rufus, do they? There are so many things I've messed up in the last couple of days. Of course Rufus has a plan. Yeah. I have... What? A plan. What else? A shiny, ingenious, super-duper plan. His best so far. And it starts with a P, right? Plan. Is obviously plan T for shoot tank or plan S. I think plan S would, <laughs> would be make more sense. Or it could just be plan T for tank. But he, what happened to the other Rufus? Did he die as well? When he lost control of the thing? And I don't see... Uh, Seagull, I don't care if he died or not. an idea or two? I've tried, Rufus. I'm sorry. You were right. The plan to shoot Elysium out of the sky was sheer madness. Anyway... The cannon's plugged by the tank now, and I am out of ideas. But you've got to think of something. You're Shoot the, the tank here. to Elysium, and then we'll get up there idea, and stop them. Size, more reliable, more skilled, and quite a bit smarter than you. But this is not the time for prudent action. If there ever was a right moment for a rash act of desperation, then it is now. Well, that's our time to shine then, isn't it? You can do it. Only a madman can save us now, and that's where you come in. Exactly. What we need now isn't just another crazy um. Rufus maneuver. We need the most absurd plan you have ever hatched. No more and no less than the ultimate maneuver. No, he gets to pull out the ultimate maneuver. Also, shouldn't the tank not be there? Shouldn't the tank be th like in the t in the thing? Not. I don't know. I might be wrong. Okay, we need the pen. And it's time to write the plan. Uh, I think the third one died with the robot and seagull. Okay. I mean, at least Gold survived then. That's that's the important thing. There's still one Rufus left. Which I think this is the original Rufus, that, anyway, that lived. Which I don't think it matters too much, anyway. Because it's not really the original, I guess, is it? Why not? Well, you never have I was Ow, I was right. <laughs> My I'm I'm sure genius. Fiddling with it. The wig is a little singed. So what? Be glad at least that the costume survived Oppenbot's fall. Oh yeah, yippee. That way, I was able to pilfer the clothes from my own corpse. I can barely restrain myself from jumping for joy. 
Don't you think this is the wrong moment to turn into a sissy? It's all right. For all I care, we can get started. Well then, onwards to, to Elysium. Elysium. And you're you're right, Frenzy. The third one did indeed die. Now wasn't that exciting? After all those twists and turns, we're finally back on our way to Elysium. Goes back in action, and all questions have been answered. Now uh, all that's left is uh, saving Deportia, right? Right, but there's one thing. Why did Donna actually have my hair colour? <laughs> yeah, I read you. Uh, that's a question we've been asked a couple of times, even on the forums. Um, of course, that's explained in the game. Actually, Hermes said he always had problems with the clone's hair color, especially when they are not fully developed. Uh, he liked to experiment, but uh, they always revert back to their original color, and that's all there is to it. Uh, it makes perfect sense. But the goal of falling out of the scanner also had ginger hair. With, uh, uh, whatever, John. Uh, it, it makes perfect sense, John. Um, we, we don't want to interrupt the game any more than necessary, John. Yeah, John. Well, because um, uh, we're on our way to Elysium and definitely don't want to disrupt the suspense by irrelevant questions asked by people who are eager to have another go at washing my feet. Don't you think, John? Okay, well, there's only one thing to do. And here we go. Ignition. Huh? Nothing's happening. Did you check the cables? I thought the doctor seemed to back. I have to do everything myself around here. God, we have to get up, don't we? Yeah, we do. A little air, at last. Can you move over a bit? Oh, they're still in there. Everyone's shoved in the tank. Shut up back there. Rufus needs to concentrate. Is this everyone on Deponia? I feel like we might be missing it. Oh no, the meeks are here. Um, I guess this is everyone we that is at the black market. Everyone at the black market is shoved on the tank. I guess we're all going to Elysium. Because why not? Good luck, Rufus. Hey, this has nothing to do with luck. My plan is 100% based on the laws of circumstantial pressure and lack of alternative. Can you check whether anyone's standing on the cable? Not me. Me neither. It must be you, Luke. Don't be silly, woman. Perhaps you, Doc? I don't know. I can no longer feel my legs. Uh, it'll be fine. That's not the cable. Barry! Wait. What is it then? I found the problem. I just need to lift the sandbag somehow. That is me. Oh, uh, it should work now. Thank you. Okay. This is it. So we're gonna land on the high boat, maybe? I'm assuming that's what's gonna happen. Cause I don't know if we got all the way to Elysium. It looked like we were gonna hit the high boat. Maneuver proved as a move, no more nuts as any other plan. There was at hand a perfect occasion for a contemplation of all the events and the writer's intent. It may seem sad to say that Rufus's way for saving the day is a little snappy. But when shit hits the fan, it's when a decent man's plan will be as deeper as ever a diver with a scuba to do. Honestly, just made me think of Scooby Doo that song. Yeah, we did it. We got on the high boat. Next time you drive and I do the drinking, I wonder why they haven't sounded the alarm yet. Yes, they appear to be ignoring us. Try to but why? Okay, if I'm not back in 10 minutes, give me 10 more. And after that? The showdown chapter, finally. This is the high bow to Elysium. Uh, in fact, and I don't uh, want to spoil things by saying that, uh, it's the last chapter. Even if they didn't manage to shoot the tank right to Elysium, uh, they've at least hit the high boat, and that means Rufus is eventually on his way to Elysium. Wait a minute. Okay, what? Speak your mind, Cole. What is it? Where am I? What? Wh You're waiting in the car. 
Yeah, you're sitting right there. All Rufus has to do now is find a way past all those organons to the bridge and all will be resolved and you will just keep waiting in the car. Yeah, exactly what a protagonist is supposed to do. Yeah, you gotta keep watch of those other Deponians in the back and also you're not in disguise. So, um, I mean, uh, Rufus is disguised, you're not. And that's it. This is the final chapter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the final chapter. I was out cold the whole time. Dead, a toddler, or... Yeah, but, but, you gotta keep watch of the other Deponians. And, uh, anyway, the magnitude of a role is not uh, determined by the lines of text. This is a question of importance and uh, gravity. And uh, Actually, I'm convinced that Deponia is, in fact, a uh, gold story. Yeah, go gold is the one making the calls and facing the great conflict. Rufus doesn't go through much change. Uh, he's a hero right from the beginning. He stays a hero and he single-handedly saves the world with the help of Gold, of course, who plays a very important role by uh, staying in the car. In terms of quantity, maybe she didn't have that many lines, but uh, quality, yeah, yeah. You have got to give credit to the quality. Story of an actress's life, yes, brilliant. So that was it, and I didn't even get to say anything during the commentary. But, 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 but that's not set in stone. We, we still have a few screens left, but, but let's move on with the game for now, okay? I mean, I do kind of feel bad for Gull. I mean, she's fallen from the sky. She has been cut, or her, she's been turned into three different people in one body. She's gone through many different bodies. She's been stabbed in the heart with that thing that they gave her. She's been turned into a baby. She's been electrocuted from lightning. And m many other things. You gotta feel bad. They won't let me through. Yeah, too bad. We'd better turn back then. We were willing to try. That's what counts. Okay, Organons, I need to get through. Um, excuse me. Mind if I, uh, I hate to interrupt, but, uh... Why aren't you using a Cletus voice? Hello? Attention! Oh, <laughs> bailiff on deck! Oh, now they think he's bailiff. bailiff. Oh, yes, sir, sir bailiff. bailiff! Oh, yeah, I mean that. <clears throat> well done. Now we can get through. Fine, Rufus. It's just uh, an elevator ride. In the, uh, uh, ten ton, bailiff on deck. <laughs> Hello, uh, bailiff on deck. Yeah, we've noticed. Tell us something we don't know. Really? Mind your manners, will you? A little more respect for our bailiff. <laughs> oh, that's why they're He's laughing. Yes, exactly. I'm, 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 I'm the bailiff. Uh, remember that. Uh, there's a little bailiff behind them. Like, right, right there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think I mentioned this one earlier. Every story needs an elevator scene, and this you did say that. is our very own Deponia elevator sequence. This reminds me of Svenja, another scripter who I failed to mention so far. She did a lot of work on chapter 9. Strange number, of course, this game hasn't got 9 chapters. Uh, this is our internal counting system based on the time when Deponia was planned to be one big game and not three parts. Later we plan to split the game after chapter 3 and 5, leaving 4 chapters for Goodbye Deponia. Back then everything was nice and linear, but then everything expanded and we put more stuff in Chaos and Deponia, and Goodbye Deponia grew also in size. Chapter 8 was even split into 4 parts, the 4th was the showdown which uh, you just played. Chapter 9 was scripted mostly by Svenja, and it was a tough job, because a lot of animations had to be carefully timed. Now it looks pretty smooth and simple, but it was a lot of work. Maybe this is a great opportunity to tell you about some other people who invested a lot of energy into this game. For example, there's our QA guys, especially those who tested like hell shortly before the release. There was Renee, Ben, Leon, and also my girlfriend, Anne. Yeah, she did a lot of testing because she didn't like the idea of waiting for me at home while I'm doing night shifts in the company. 
might be kind of her, I would say, but she really organized the test. That's damn cool. Uh, maybe I should have left her at home, then she wouldn't have found so many bugs. Uh, then again, the bugs would still be in the game now, so I guess all went well. What else did I want to say? Ah yes, uh, the testers, the scripters, what scripters might I have forgotten to mention? Um, there was Marlin, maybe Max. Uh, did I tell you that our video compositor is called Reno? That's not a nickname, it's really. It's Reno Pelly, he is in the credits and that's why I can tell you his full name. Crazy name, great guy and knows everything about video compositing and editing and animation. Yes, he's got a, a background in animation. And then of course there's our artists, our graphic artists, our many, many, many graphic artists and animators who I won't be able to all remember now because there were so many of them. I've always mentioned Gunnar and Simone and I think I also dropped Fabi's name. Nick also worked on our videos, then there's Sandra, oh boy, see, it's just too many. That would be 20, 30 names. I would have to list and it would be awkward if I forgot to mention one or two. But as the end is drawing near, I'll leave it at this rough attempt and simply want to say thank you to everyone involved. I guess uh, you've already heard that at Delic we simply have the best people working on our games and I want to officially confirm this. It is true. Well there you go. Okay. Well, let's pull the lever. It's a lot of people. I'm heading for the bridge. Take me to the right level, but babe, you should know what level that is. Yes, of course I do. I just wanted to test whether you know it too. I'm heading for the bridge. Take me to but babe, you should yes, of Okay, they will say the same thing. Keep going. the right floor, Bailiff. You should know that, being a Bailiff and all. Ah. <laughs> of course. Of, of course. Uh, of, of course. Are you completely sure about that? Of course I'm sure. I'm the Bailiff. I'm always sure. Good to know. Time to disembark, everyone. The Bailiff says we're here. Um, then yes. Hey, Bailiff. Uh, no, Argus, you get it. And you must be Rufus. Some nerve you've got coming here. Foolhardy and stupid. As always, or don't you fear that I will now have to break every single one of your bones. Can you wait? Nah, no, I think I'd rather not have you do that. I don't think so. The time for amicable agreements has expired. I've been looking forward to this day. Put them up. Oh, no. Oh. Why does he stand like that? His his knee looks like it's broken. Okay, what if I just what's the purpose of this? Just you wait. I got anything nothing in my inventory, okay. Come here and fight like a man. Go for the kneecaps. Just keep taking hit after hit, Rufus. Trust me, it'll work at some point. Why do you just stand? <laughs> I don't get why you just stand there. Why don't you hit back, Rufus? Did you really believe your little games could save you? Face it, it's no use. I'm just gonna keep keep using it. What's the purpose of this? Come here and fight like a man. No. What do you think you're doing? Just give up. Okay, there's more I, c I can interact with now. Okay, I can go up, down, or pedal. Cut it out. Now, what's the purpose of this? Come here and fight like a man. Okay. Oh, you hear a throttle valve to adjust the elevator's speed. I'll leave that to the space. Ow! 
Uh, how about we go down? That seems fun, right? I mean, what? there's one Rufus. I mean, there's one version of Rufus, Cletus, and Argus who could take more damage than the other. And that is Rufus. He, <laughs> the amount of damage he takes sometimes is... He can live through almost anything. down again oh did he fall through the gap there I guess he did there we go problem solved easy peasy the team is waiting impatiently waiting for your speech of course and allow me to add that I am no less excited mm. myself. Your speeches are always so inspiring, so eloquent. You play the crowd like a, a virtuoso plays his piano. And if I may say so, my favourite bit. I'm <laughs> looking forward to it then. To pieces by such an audience. <laughs> In what? Oh, certainly. But your words are like magic. Inimitable. So, <laughs> but here I am, just raving would on. They we get started before the crowd grows even more agitated. Yeah, yes, nobody wants that. So they wouldn't yeah, pull me apart if I was, if magic. they thought I was bailiff, right? A moment. I, I, I think, um... Gentlemen, we are about to be addressed by our great role model. Our leader. It sounds like I'm going to be at a, a uh, like a concert. Walk into it. What an ass. Um. Ooh. Yeah, um. What's on? Rufus, come on. Speak. Well, I mean, speak. That ass. I don't. No. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is. You got this, Rufus. I'm gonna say we're standing in front of you. Standing in front of you. Uh, is a fine example of our organization. Uh, is only one of eleven thousand us. I'll say he's a fine example. He's a fine example of our organization. Um, <laughs> you can only call them asses. Look around. What are we actually doing here? We are supposed to destroy a planet for which we don't give a rat's ass. For people who don't mean shit to us. Isn't it time to realize that we are the asses here? Then why don't we do what is expected of us? And Shit on them! Come on! Am I? We don't give a shit! Look at me, just look at our logo. Um... I would say I could give you a thousand more examples. And everyone's loving it. I mean, I've, I'm obviously doing a great speech. I could name you a thousand more examples. The fact is, we are the asses here. But is that 
something to be ashamed of? I say, no! I, for my part, am proud of what I am. I am an ass! And you're all asses too! It's time to show the world what's inside us! Long live the Omenon! <laughs> I'd say that went pretty well. I, I'm, I'm just, What's I'm just great at speeches. Very inspiring, like always. Great. Well, then I can go now. Uh, which way to the bridge? But, uh, what about the hymn? The hymn? Exactly. Following each of your speeches, you lead us in our hymn. You can't have forgotten. Uh, uh yes. The hymn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plus you can hear the full version of the OO Organon. Let's go! Organon. Oh, organon. Okay, um... What a lame audience. Frankly, Rufus is amazed... Rufus... Blah, blah. Frankly, Rufus's amazing singing voice is wasted on these people. But anyway, you should give it... Give him a hand and click on the lines of the staff uh, to alter the pitch. And notes until the melody comes to proper property. Organon, oh, organon, oh, oh, organon, huh. organon, oh, organon, oh, oh. I can't tell what part is what. I'm just gonna. Organon. Organon, oh, organon, oh. You want the hearts? Yeah, she's trying to figure out what things represent organon, which thing. Organon, organon, okay. Oh, organon, oh, oh, organon. Organon, oh, organon. Oh, right up there. Oh, oh, organon. Yeah, we'll start with the first one. Organon, oh, organon. That one might go here. That one's good. Oh, oh. That one's not. Organon. Okay, they don't like that one. That's good. Not sure. Good. No. Not sure about that one. Good. Eh. No, okay. Organon. Oh, organon. Oh, oh. Organon. Okay, we'll send that one back down. Organon. Oh, organon. Oh, oh. Organon. Okay, we're getting there. Organon, oh, organon, oh, oh. Okay, it's just this one, organon. and I think this one. Organon, oh, organon. Okay, let's try that. Oh, oh, organon, organ. Okay, we're getting there. Maybe that. I mean, my thing is gone, so I'm guessing that's right. There we go.
This one actually does sound better than the earlier one. I feel like this is a great backtrack to a song. Or at least something like this. I don't think I know any national anthems that have a backtrack like this. I mean, even if it is a game, but still. You can get this song as a DLC if you get the soundtrack. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is something I may look into doing. Nope. Everyone was whispering. Oh, I leave. Oh. Oh, I, I didn't even notice. I thought... I didn't even notice I could leave. I thought I was just listening to it, the whole thing. Companion, I had hoped you would introduce me to the person who caused us so much trouble. Don't worry, she's on board. You should be more worried about the others who are also on board. Your precious bailiff Argus has moved the entire Organon to this high boat. What? That can't be true. Where is that traitor? You know, I've got good news and bad news regarding him. The bad news is someone's got to clean the floor of the elevator shaft. I don't think that will be necessary. Argus, I don't believe it. You are trying to deceive me to bring the organ on to Elysium behind my back. Yeah, but he didn't reckon with me or me. What's going on here? Who is that? I'm the real Cletus. He's just an imposter, which, strictly speaking, makes no difference. Plus or minus two zeros. My calculation turned out just right. This high boat is now under my control. Not as long as I can prevent it. Stop that. This high boat is no longer bound for Elysium. What? 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 I'm certainly not going to jeopardize the Utopian project by taking an invading army to Elysium. I'm initializing the destruction of Deponia. Right now, Elysium will have to start on its journey a little sooner than expected. Stop! Ulysses! You fool! This is madness! My decision stands! Don't try to stop me! But... But what? Surely three... Well, surely Argus, Cletus, and Rufus could both, if they all work together, overpower him. Um... What about the Deponian? We well, didn't care about them in the first place. Deponia, what will become of them? Enough energy to catapult Elysium towards the nearest inhabitable planet, I hope. Have you no You hope. Conscience? You don't oh, do. know. Oh, certainly. But it is necessary. And you are not going to change my mind. But... What about the Organon? Well, what about the Organon? What about it? The Organon was destined to be blown up all along. Ah, uh, I forgot. But... Right, you. What about you? You're gonna die as well. True, but this is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. With all the suffering I have caused, I don't deserve better. 
<laughs> so you've got a conscience after all. You don't have to do this. Oh, yes. I do. But... Oh, you want to sacrifice yourself for the Elysium? Why would you want to sacrifice oh, yourself God. for the Elysium? Who or what is forcing you? I mean, Deponia may be no paradise, but it's possible to live there, and many people do. And not everyone down there was as unhappy as me. I know. I know the life down at the surface. I spent a long time there myself. Like a rat amongst the garbage. That isn't a dignified life. Not for... For a bunch of stuck-up swellheads? Hey! If you really want to know, this is about my daughter. She lives on Elysium. I want a better life for her. On Utopia. I'm doing this for you, Go. <gasps> no! You old... Um... What have you goes on the ship, what man. Think? In a few minutes... A radio signal will be emitted from this high boat. It will activate all the blast towers around the planet. Caponia will be destroyed. And hey, go. can finally set out on its journey to Utopia. I saved my daughter. That's what I have done. I'm afraid I have to contradict you, Dad. Go? What? What? How? I went to Deponia with Cletus. I knew you would never permit it. That's why I didn't tell you. The girl we were looking for was you! The one who took pity on these junkyard dwellers and sabotaged our plans? This was about you the entire time? Can't we celebrate this family reunion some other time? Deponia may blow up any minute now. Including us and your precious daughter. Exactly. What are you waiting for, Ulysses? Abort the detonation. But that's impossible. Can't we stop it somehow? The only way would be to destroy the antenna before the signal has sent. The transmitting antenna, of course. But the transmitter is on top of the upper deck. It would be a suicide mission. Who would be crazy enough to try? I'm in. Clay, this, I mean, not Clay, it's Rufus, so of course. And I. Well then, what are you waiting for? I'm coming too. You're staying here, Missy. You and I are going to have a serious talk. Yeah, I mean, they're all crazy enough to do it, so. Well, this seems safe. You can leave. Yeah, I, fi I figured it out after a bit. I think probably a bit too long. <laughs> Good thing I don't suffer from vertigo or any other sign of the zodiac. Uh, let's see, antenna. Oops! Why does that always happen to me with antennas? I don't know. You're very good at snapping antennas. Oh, we can use this as a balancing thing. The cable. Haven't got all day, you know. Okay, next. There we go. And one more. Whoa! <laughs> that was fun. Pout! You moron! You almost killed us! Oh, I've heard that. What did I do? Before, but never actually, you have killed us. And that makes all the difference. Exactly. Quite enough. I've had it with you. You will hold yourself back from now on. Leave the rest to us. So, how shall we proceed? You could jump. It's much too far. Or perhaps you could stop the rotor. Oh, don't be such a rufus. The rotors are keeping the high boat upright. Even if we could block it, the high boat would capsize. That would be the end of us. Hmm. I'm just saying, they could have gone a different route. But I decided to do the thing. It's perfectly safe. Exactly. I, they didn't have to do what I did. I decided to do it. They didn't have to follow the exact same way. You know, it was their choice. Why don't we just hit the button with the antenna? Actually, what can we interact with here? Can walk over to here. Can't walk it. Okay, there's a tran transmitter up there. To get to that? Saying there's things I can interact with, but I can't. You know, we could... Shut up. I don't like you, Argus. You know, we could shut up. I don't like them. Um, 
The first thing I could do is do this. I've got a plan. Stop! Don't! <laughs> I hit it! <laughs> and who's the idiot now? To you, us, course, it didn't get destroyed. Huh? Why? Just look. The transmitter fell into the rotor and it keeps blinking like nothing happened. I think it just got very lucky that it didn't oh, get destroyed. Damn. It's still active. How are we going to reach it now? Any one of those fans could have hit it, but it didn't. Damn it. Okay. Well, we can look back. Good thing I don't pour any of and I can't walk along it. Uh, Gladys. Catwalk down there. I can see that. Any chance we could get there by jumping? Down there? Just how stupid are you? Answer his question, Cletus. Excuse me? You're the inspector here, aren't you? Then let's hear your assessment of the situation. What are the odds? <laughs> Taking into account the rotation speed and the radius, the odds that we'd survive without being threaded by the rotor are about one in three. Hmm. One in oh, three. One in three isn't half bad. There's three of us. It roughly corresponds to your brain cells per head ratio. Brain cells per hit. I can't even keep up with that. Well, one in can't three even. <laughs> if the three of us all jump from different positions, at least one of us could make it. But that's insane. Have you got a better plan? Tell me about it. It's all settled then. It's all settled then. We count to three, and then we all jump. I think that sounds like a great plan. One, two. Hey, what's this? Aren't you jumping? Are you? You were gonna cheat, huh? Not me. Yeah. <laughs> I almost jumped by myself. <laughs> Couldn't even done the. Okay, I think I have to actually click jump. Again? All right, but no sweet. Okay. One. Two. <laughs> three. He tricked us. Rufus? Rufus, wake That up. slimy bastard. You didn't jump. Oh, I have a red eye. I mean, I made it. That's good. Ouch. What, what happened? You made it. Where's Bravo. Cletus? Wh where's Cletus? I don't think he made it, but I'm not quite sure. It all went down very fast. Now, do you see the antenna anywhere? I'm at it. I mean, you mean the transmitter? The transmitter is there. The antenna is still up there. There's also a door. Huh. How did I make it that through that? Spectacularly yeah, I mean... Through Cletus just like fall off the entire ship? Because I feel like if he got hit by the rotors, there would be a lot of red just everywhere. I can't reach it from here. So, could you please try thro maybe throwing down your pole that, or antenna that I used? Somebody used screws sparingly here. <laughs> maybe they read my blog. What about not needing screws? Screw no, one. Wait a second. If I loosen this screw, what will hold up the bridge? I mean, it could fall down and then hang on to there and then boom. Or maybe I need to put a screw in this side. There's a screw in place already. Okay. Well, let's take a few of these screws. Oh, because I want to do it this way. Right. No, wait, if I... Take a screw off that side? No, I cannot. Hmm. Oh, I do want to quickly use screw here. There, now let me take the screw off of here. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do here. No, if I... Right, yeah, I can't do that. Um, take this screw off. There we go. Now we go over to this side. And screw that in. Oh, 
There we go. Take the transmitter. Ha, I've got it. Do you hear me, Argus? I've got it. Very good. And now, destroy it, piece of cake. <laughs> uh, Just throw it into the rotor. Screwing around, are we? I am definitely screwing around. Who doesn't love screwing? No, yeah, just screwing around. Specifically with screws. Destroying the transmitter. What else? You're not about to stick your hand in the rotor, are you? No, throw it. I knew you were an idiot, but the sheer folly of this really surmounts everything I've heard so far. Three. Ah. Uh. I did it! The transmitter is destroyed! Deposed. Yeah, I thought he would have thought he just got the yes, transmitter and thrown it up, not put his hand the up there. Up, uh, we're capsizing then. Another idea would be to let you rock down there. I suppose it depends. Depends on what? Your decision. Will you help me with my coup against the Council of Elders? Y you what? Ah! What's going on? Something's blocking the starboard rotor. Is that bad? No idea. You missed a punya. We're about to crash? But, but we're almost there. I can already see the airlocks. The airlocks, you say? But of course. The maintenance ladders. Perhaps I can hold our position long enough so we can evacuate. Go and gather your friends together. And what about the organons? Them too, of course. Now that the detonation has been cancelled, I hope that Argus will rethink his plan. I will inform the Council of Elders. Okay. But what about you? Go! There's no time for discussion. Go now! I refuse to believe this. You still is he gonna to sacrifice himself for gold? Elysium? Why not? Where else could we go? I will never allow that to happen. Oh, come on. Those soldiers down there are our brothers. We share the same gene. Basically, we're identical. Why should you be allowed to get to Elysium and not one of them? Or two or three? Where do you draw the line? Who gets to decide that? You, perhaps? No, but sir. Uh, what do you say? Um, I mean, there's only three choices. All of them are saying no, which I was going to say no anyway. Uh, forget it. Forget it. That's too bad. But it can't be helped. Somehow I knew you wouldn't cooperate so long, Rufus. So you're just going to let us capsize? Oh no, he is actually. Gonna, that's basically oh, what I was planning that. to do. I mean, yeah, that's basically what I was planning to do, except for from the bottom and not the top. And is that Cletus on... Now I don't know who is who, and we're all stuck. Great. <laughs> Great. Couldn't have gone better. There you are again. Ah, it hurts. <laughs> It's your own fault. <laughs> Ow. You're a fine one to laugh, but now we're all in the same boat again. I think I can free myself. <laughs> Don't. The rotor is only stuck because we're all in between. As soon as one of us moves, it will start running again. Then we all die. But if we continue blocking the rotor, then the high boat will crash one way or another. We're dead. Just how did we manage to end up in this stupid situation? You betrayed me. me. I, you you, two messed that's it up the problem. This time. What? Can't come up with a cunning plan for once. Let me think. Nah, it's completely hopeless. So we can relax then. Rufus! Cletus! Go! What's happened here? Doesn't matter. You have to get us out of here. Preferably before the high boat crashes. Yes, it's a little too late for that. Dad says that all these rotor failures have damaged the engines. He's able to hold the high boat in position for now. But evacuation has already started. We've only got minutes. Oh, great. Now everyone's Damn it. to Elysium but me. 
right? Exactly. Get me out of here. You can only save one of us before the rotor starts turning again. No, there must be a way to get all three of you out. No, there isn't. Come on, make a decision. How can I decide that? I don't even know who's who. I'm just going to say that I'm Rufus. Rufus. He's lying. I am Rufus. They're both bold-faced liars. I am Rufus. Oh, great. And now, can the real Rufus give me some sort of proof? Of course I can. Um, I just think they definitely won't. I'm more handsome than these two morons. Uh, we'll simply trust your heart. Please don't make up your mind. Time's running out. I'll go with that one. Trust your heart. Huh. Let me see. My heart says, um, perhaps the one in front. What? No. Uh, forget the bit about your heart. There are more reliable methods. That Look one. Look carefully. I'm much better looking than those two scarecrows. I can't see a thing from here. You all look the same in those costumes. I need a better clue than that. I guess we have to go with... I know something I know the others something don't. That the other two definitely don't. Oh, then what's that? Breakfast, breakfast this morning. Uh, that Drew board. Drew beards and Bozo's family album. Uh, you're wearing your pepper. How do you know? That I uh, I'll go through all of these. Morning. Yes, that was unusual. Anyone could have guessed that. Yes. But not what we had for breakfast. Easy. We no, have. I don't think I can hold on any longer. Oh, ah! Damn it! Rats. Now we're back to square one. I am okay. Here. I got to do this faster. Uh, the, the others definitely a... don't. I can't do the breakfast one again. That we drew beards in Bozo's family album. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun. Although there was surprisingly little to draw. It's a trick, goal. He only knows that because I told him. Don't be ridiculous. Why would the real Rufus tell you something like that? Just to boast. But there's one thing that none of the others can possibly know. <clears throat> How do you You're know this, Rufus? Your purple underwear today. Huh? When did you see my underwear? I, uh, oh, <laughs> I think my fingers are slipping. I feel like he almost did that one on purpose. Oh, oh, great. Now we have to start over again. So, who's who? I am Ru oh, Ruben. Well, um. Please make up your mind. Time's running out. The high boat could crash any moment now. Pressuring me like that won't make it any easier. What if I accidentally pick Argus? Hey, I mean, uh, <laughs> hey ho. I'm the Roofster. Huh. Uh, who cares which of us is Rufus? Just leave us who here and save yourself. Yeah. Just leave us here and save yourself. The most important thing is that you survive. Ha! He just gave himself away. Exactly. The real Rufus, uh, that's me, would never say such a thing. You're right. That really didn't sound like Rufus. Could it be possible that you changed that much? The real Rufus will never change. You know that. Then... Perhaps it's just another trick to look good. No, uh, uh. it's true. What? I'm Why is this now a Rufus. choice? Uh, Rufus, that's him. What? Uh, yes, I, yeah, sure. He's right. Uh, I am Rufus. Is this a trick? A last desperate maneuver? You know, if I help him, it's too late to change your mind. You're going to fall and die. Definitely. Just go with Just it. Think, how can I be the real Rufus? The real Rufus is never going to give up. He'll never change. And he'll never. Oh, God. Let's go. Stop. <gasps> no. No. Aren't the blades going to start spinning again? Go. We need to get out. Come. <laughs> huh? Hello, Rufus. What are you what? doing here, Barry? What are you doing here? You're my idol. You remember? And <laughs> I follow you everywhere.
elsewhere. No, seriously. I just wanted to tell you how much I admire what you're doing here. You couldn't At have helped first, me of off the blades. Shocked, but then I did understand. Brilliant. Really. It was actually the only thing you could do. A genius plan. Even from a philosophical point of view. The ultimate altruistic deed. Huh. Wow. Rufus. The oh-so-resolute Rufus. At last, finally changed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Barry. But Barry, why didn't you help me up when what's when Goal was there? Then two of us could have been saved. Are you ready? I don't know. Do you really think this outfit is appropriate? But Rufus, everyone knows you're a Deponian. You remember that, right? You no longer need to pretend. Never again. You can simply be yourself. Forever. Rufus. But this is totally cool. Yeah. How are you going to pretend to be Rufus forever, Cletus? You know it won't work. Ah, here come our heroes. The saviors of Deponia. Well, a fine mess you got us into, if I may say so. Your report poses us a difficult dilemma. Naturally, now that we know Deponia is inhabited, our journey to Utopia is cancelled for the time being. But the high boat is destroyed, and the cable is cut. And with so many new citizens, our resources will be used up even faster than expected. What will become of Elysium? Are we forced to land on Deponia? Is that the solution? So many questions. I'm afraid I have no answers for you, your eminence. But this Deponian here is a true genius. Who? Me? If you're stuck for unusual ideas, his imagination knows no limit. Go ahead. Any suggestion will be welcome. Uh, but, Goal? You can do it. Well, uh, <coughs> uh, perhaps we could mount some rockets on Elysium. Go on. Or flying dragons. And if we put um, monster truck tires on a, a gigantic dirigible... Monster truck tires? Uh, then perhaps we could uh, train a few eagles and... Uh... Getting back to those flying dragons. How big would Cletus they have Cletus isn't be? quite as good oh, as huge. Rufus. With very large teeth. And they should breathe fire. So are there multiple endings to this game? Or did I just get the bad ending? And did the other Deponians actually get... Oh yeah, they would have gotten on, I guess. But also the Organon got on. I don't know. I'm closing my case. There's nothing left to say. Any last questions? I uh, take that as a no. But if you feel better, your whole world is shattered. I may have a helpful suggestion for you. Just grab your harmonica and sing about the pony. The roof is a stream of a life more ideal. And the fact that sometimes there may be just one last chance to save the day if you let go. And if that's so, I'm off now for real. The end. So did I just get a bad ending or or what? Well, there we go. And the end. Yeah. Well, there you go. And now I have about one hour to start the new one. <laughs> but I will really watch through the credits a little bit as well. Well, there you go. And Rufus never actually ended up even getting to Elysium. And now Cletus needs to act like Rufus for... A very long time. Yeah. Well, actually, 
now you go back through all these photos, that's a lot happened. Which I guess the game was like 30 something hours long. But now the question is, how can the fourth game happen if Rufus has fallen from, then again, he's fallen, oops, then again, he's fallen from the sky many times and not died, but this is from like space height. I don't know how he's going to make it without dying. Yeah, I feel like that was the only option we really had. The only option we truly had was to let go. Otherwise, it would have just kept going around and around, I think. Yeah, there we go. That is the game finished. Now, I need to quickly open up the other Deponia. You'll find out? Okay. Well, I guess I have, yeah, about an hour to do that. Yeah, quit game. Oh god, no, no. Yeah, I need to record my screen only for Deponia for some reason. It's really weird. Anyway, we've got 62 out of 105 achievements. That's pretty good. Now, onto Deponia Doomsday. This one has 36 achievements. Uh, Deponia. I could have launched bonus Wadabuhaha. Bonus Wahat. Actually, what is bonus stuff? I didn't even check what that was. It said there was bonus stuff. Uh, yeah. Continue with that. Hey Unicorn, how are you going? If I click bonus, what is bonus stuff? Uh, I guess it's locked because I haven't done it. Uh, it's just cinematics, magazines, achievements, and I guess stuff like that. I just woke up, I, I don't know what I expected. Yeah, I guess. Oh yeah, this is the Golem game I was also talking about. That um they're making. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna go, I'll go back and check the bonus content after stream and check that out. But we, all we can do is new game. New game, yep. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. We're starting the new game now. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts. Built walls. New game? Spears, yeah, it's the pony against walls and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home. Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. Our bastion of hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> he saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. The end. The bad ending. <laughs> oh. oh! You don't like this ending? No, I didn't. Still hoping for something more upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings enchant. Don't tempt them. Though, I've got to admit, 
Even after all this time, I... I keep asking myself... If I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? This place was pure hell. Who am I kidding? Well, it wasn't these days. I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing the tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening fuel boxes. What? I don't like that noise. <laughs> That noise does not sound good. And why does this sound a bit like Bozo? It sounds like Bozo. But Bozo is always taller and bigger. Um, hey, I'm just gonna say Bree if that's all good. I hope that's a bit, I hope that's okay. Let me know if there's anything else. From, I'm um, from Australia. But yeah, welcome to the stream. And did you like the ending yesterday? Yeah, I, I again, I didn't see like all of it or two, like, in depth because i was in a call with friends but um i did see that you were going up against the god of gods <laughs> and i when when you said you're a demigod if, at when at near the start of the game i didn't think you would be fighting something like that uh, i was looking for someone to play deponia oh, okay yeah i'm starting actually, i should probably change the title not the title of the uh, game because i'm starting deponia 4 because yeah uh, I think it's originally a German title, though personally, unlike most people, prefer the English uh, synchro. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I, I, I've listened to the English one. I haven't really listened to the, um, normal one, the original German one, because I feel like if I had subtitles, I would not be able to keep up at all. I do not sure. I'll do the tutorial because extra content. Uh, welcome to the tutorial. The tutorial will guide you through the game's controls step by step. Uh, yep, as usual. Uh, first use the hotspot key to highlight uh, interesting objects in a scene. Press the mouse wheel, spacebar to highlight objects. Yeah, as usual. Like that. Cursor is made of two gears. One big one, one small. Yep, as usual. That's normal. You can look at some objects. Just click, just right click. Uh, look at the Edwards snowman who is the snowman oh that's the entire truck uh deponia co-op uh i don't think deponia is co-op no i'm pretty sure it's single player at least the original game was i don't think this one is either because it's more of a point and click and most point and clicks aren't multiplayer there might be some i think most are yeah, single player by the way if one with the cursors is empty, the object uh, doesn't have a corresponding action. Click on the ground, move your character. Uh, you can leave a scene by using the exit. If the scene is the right edge of the screen, leave a scene and just double click. Yep, as usual. You see that spray can? Uh, you can pick up the item by left clicking it. Interact with spray can. Yep, as usual. It's like most things. Also, I really like his truck. It looks pretty cool. It will be stored in your inventory. Uh, I, mean, I can use the mouse wheel because I will hurt my brain. Once again, right. Wait, no, it should work. Um, I'm recording my screen. Thank you for letting me know. All right, this one I might actually have to use my game capture. Hopefully this one actually works with game capture. Uh, Pony Doomsday. Okay, now we come over, click on it. Uh, is it working now? Maybe, hopefully. Let me check. Uh, wait for it to capture, catch up. 
Try window capture? Yeah, I might have to try window capture. Um, yeah, the pony's always very finicky with capturing the game. I don't know why it's like that. Yeah, it doesn't look like it works. Have you tried window capture? Yeah, I might have to try that. Display capture thing. Yeah, might have to try window capture. We haven't actually got window capture set up on this yet. Uh, bah, 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 window capture. I will call it G, because why not? Uh, keep that as normal, automatic. Keep that same. Only wants to capture Steam. Why, game? Why? Uh, what capture compatibility? Mm. Damn it, game. That's the only problem with trying to switch games. <laughs> Is when it wants to be finicky like this. And that does not work. Game capture doesn't hit. What if I put SLI crossfire? There we go. Now it's working. Just had to put my crossfire on. Don't actually know what crossfire even does, but it does something that makes ga that make games work sometimes. Also, that is turning my heater on. I do not want my heater on. It is getting hot, and too hot equal bad. I have to take my jumper off soon. It's actually almost too hot. There we go. It's working now. Ha. Huh. Yeah, as I was saying, the truck looks pretty cool. Yeah, welcome to the stream. I'm gonna say deads. I hope that's how it's said. Yeah, welcome to the stream. What if I click this? Can you buy an oh you can buy an in inventory? Okay. What will it do? Flamethrower? Flamethrower! Yes! Honestly, I'm gonna go back to the vehicle. Okay, I guess we're not gonna try and melt the bolt at all. Much as I love my homemade flamethrower, it was useless against the bolt. Okay, that's fair. Are you going to pick up an item and use it with other objects? Climb up the ladder, click the improvised flamethrower in your inventory, and return on the screen by moving the item out. Um, take him out of the icebox. Locking the frozen toolbox, cleaning it, okay. So that's why we went to go do that. Okay, get up the ladder. Okay, that is how it's said. Okay, that's good then. At least I said it right. Now we can open this up. Congratulations, now you know enough about can you the the Enough to continue playing the game on your own. Whenever there is more to know, uh, or new game mechanics uh, introduced, new tutorial messages will pop up on screen. Okay. What sort of mechanics would you meet? Or bought in? Oh, so basically it's got a better version of our flamethrower. The, bl the blowtorch. Which I'm guessing we can use to... Um, what's this up here? That's just... Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing we can use this to melt the bolt or not melt the bolt but you know get through it the bolt didn't look like you could saw through it but i got this far and i was going to finish it to the end and light the float light it want light i have to hold down i see uh, have you played any other deadly point and clicks? Uh, no, I haven't. I didn't know there were actually any other. Uh, all I've played is Deponia from Deadly. I haven't played any of uh, the others. What other games have they got? If you don't mind me asking. No man. Yeti, stay away. I don't want to deal with Yeti. There we go. In this scene, you will see a power bar. Rapidly click to succeed. Good luck. Thank you. You can probably hear me clicking, by the way. Sorry about that. Uh, that don't seem good. That don't... That... That's... Uh... Uh... I don't remember Deponia being like this. 
That was throw good luck. Thank you. Kick it. Kick the hand with your other thing. Are we, are we just gonna... I don't remember Deponia being a horror game last I played. I guess I just keep clicking. No! Shut the damn door! I don't know what I can use to keep it shut. Uh, no, I think I know what I gotta do. I gotta use the thing. It is Doomsday after all. You have a good point. It is Doomsday. Bad idea. What? Oh, pipe. I didn't see it. I didn't see the pipe there. Okay, grab the pipe. Now, quick, shove the pipe in the lock. There we go. I feel like they can still get up here. If they can climb, and there's enough of them. I feel like they can probably climb here. The hopelessness. And the button that would simultaneously release the bomb collapse in countless blast towers. All over Deponia. Button. Is that, Dep is that part of this? It is. So Elysium did come down. Um... Ed and Harvey is really good. Uh, another rabbit. Uh, 954 Alcatraz. Okay. I'll have a look at... The, I'll definitely have a look at the other games. Um, why is there a monster chasing you? Uh, I was in toilet. Uh, I do not know. Uh, all I know is there are now monsters here that I need to look out for. Uh, but red button... Red buttons are always good. Always press red buttons. There you go. Rufus lived. I don't like this. This looks like a machine press. And you know how machine presses go. Uh, kill off the... Uh, wait. This thing! I remember this thing! All I can do is kick this. I think. We'll kick the monster and that thing. We can kick him off. And is, there's only two things we can go do. But isn't this from... Well, I think about it. Isn't this... What's it called? I'm trying to think of the name of the thing. It was in Deponia 2 where they had did something with the clamp. So it wouldn't actually explode properly. And it would only explode the tower. I think that's right. Where it was only meant to explode the tower. Are these things really monsters? Were they people turned into monsters? Because they still have clothes on. There we go. The Pony of Doomsday. Oh, music! Cat Jam, yeah, this part is, <laughs> these parts of the song, I mean, these parts of the games are always the best. I love the music. You can't go wrong with the music.
must keep you hydrated true true would be bad if i didn't rufus where are you i'm guessing this is still rufus that came down that fell off the thing Everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet pony about it. No, no, something's wrong. No, no, <laughs> something's wrong. He said, "Sweet Tony, <laughs> what is going on? What has happened to Rufus? I don't like this already. Something's, something's not right. Uh, it's super hot for me. Yeah, I mean, I wish it was hot here." Which actually it is getting hot because I've had my heater on, so I'm gonna quickly take my jumper off, but yeah. But yeah, it's God hot. Yeah, I wish it was hot here at the moment, but it's winter. I mean I guess our winter isn't really that bad to be fair, but I'm used to the heat, so I don't like winter, even if it's not I guess that cold of a winter, if that makes sense. Uh, the only thing I will say about Doomsday Pony is that this game um, is the what if. I see. I guess I'll learn what you mean. You like it hot? Yeah, I rather hot than cold. And for most Aussies, anything below 20 Celsius is cold. True. So we, the balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond. Tony will believe her eyes. <laughs> Yeah, this sort of feels like, um... This feels sort of like that island where there was the lightning. I can't remember the name of it, but it feels sort of like that. Yeah, that's the throttle. Well, I guess we should go, go and see what everyone's up to. Signs have been becoming more and more common lately. And for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. Yeah, I don't know what it is at the moment, but I... Like I said, I've had my heater on, so it's not too cold at the moment, actually. Um, pretty cool they made Doomsday because lots of people didn't like like the ending. Yeah, I mean It def it definitely Time to get to work. It was an ending that Stop. I can accept But I would like if there was a better ending Tony was so angry that we broke up and then I an organ on conspiracy and started a revolution? Bro, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. Noted. <laughs> Will do. Yeah, we can't go up. Yeah, we can't. Hmm. I guess we, we can grab, grab the rope. And... I've been practicing the lasso number long enough. The next time I throw out a loop, then it'll be to catch something. Okay, I don't know what we want to use the rope on then. I guess we want to get out of here. Um. Elysium! Huh? What now? Oh damn! The stove is still out. If you need to turn the stove up. Um, hence what if. It's sad. Um, it's sad, but I like it because it feels real. Yeah, I mean, so this is basically... It wouldn't... It's not really the real ending. But it's more of a... What if there was a different ending? Uh, I would say you be very confused in this game. Uh, as in the game tops the other three and confusing. And confusing. God, and I got confused in the other games. How am I ever going to do this one? No, it's not not good news for me then. I guess I'm, I'm going to grab everything I can. Which is what I usually do. Uh, so the stove has gone out. I see. 
feel like it has to have been going for a bit though, because this is still steaming, so it must have gone out recently. Um, hmm. These visions aren't all bad. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Well, it's good to know though. Yeah, I'm guessing Rufus did. That's my pyramid. You bastard! That was my pyramid of glass. Hey you! Hello! You can't park here. Is that Wenzel? Would they bring Wenzel back? No, they wouldn't. Hey, you there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from me. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't resist. Are you a time traveler? What happened in the last game? I missed the ending. Oh, um, well, we got all of our friends, um, you know, like the people that we talked to and interacted with and all that, and we got them on a ship. And there were the three other people that looked like us, you know, Argus, Cletus, and well, Rufus. And then we, they had to evacuate the ship. So they got everyone and like all the Organon people, all our friends, and then um, Goal had to choose between Rufus, Cletus, and Argus. And we kept saying that Cletus was us, and we let go. And I'm assuming we died. So basically, Cletus ended up going to uh, Elysium, and we, I'm assuming, died when we landed. We fell from basically space. So that's probably the best way I can say that it can put the end, say the ending. Um, who are you? Who are you anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Strictly speaking, I'm actually not meant to be talking to you. At least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing towards no. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. Do you understand? No. So this is a different universe. Is that why things are different? Is this a different universe? Oh no. Yeah. Ban me. Yeah. I said I would at one point, and then I unbanned you, and then you said it wouldn't be good enough. So there's no point. Um. Do you know what you've? I mean, I know it's. What have you done? But look at what, what you've done. done? Betsy, do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions. Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me. I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness. Yeah, that sounds about right. Magma flows, darkness. That doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility. But it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes. There's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I Answer will. this. No! Turn back time. No! You... What? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize. But your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yeah, go ahead. Super fine. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, Rufus is kind of fine with it, so I'm, I'm fine with it. Uh, answer this. Have you been in Little Nightmares in an hour? I don't think I have. I think when I played it, I did it in three. Or three and a half. Something like that. I don't think I've ever done it in an hour. And then... Yeah. I think... Even after I played it like halfway one time and then I went through it again. It still took me a while. I don't know how you would do it in an hour, to be fair. Um... No contact. Uh, what's the square root of... 
that number. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. I mean, I can't even confirm if that's right or not. They could be com talking complete shit and I would, I would not know. So who are you? Who are you anyway? My name is McCronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Puerto Rustica. You're a professor of what? Stupid hat? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McConacon? Yes? When? When did I ask you for your life story? You got, you got a point, Rufus. <laughs> you got a point. Uh, what are you doing here? Display begs to differ. Naturally. I'm talking about a time split. That's serious. It's like a, a split end. In time. Well, my hair is healthy and vigorous. The quantum foam is almost boiling. Something terrible has happened, and it might repeat itself in perpetuity. <laughs> you sound like my girlfriend, Tony. I think it's you coming here is what caused it. I'm dumb. You're not dumb. What do you mean? But yeah, are you planning to try and beat Little Nightmares in an hour, Unicorn? Is that why you ask? Um, what did happen to No Contact? No Contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred. But we can make it unoccur if we follow my plan. Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... You mean... Turn back time. No. So I wonder what that is. I feel like, I mean, I keep seeing eyes back there. I feel like it could be a rat, but I don't know. It was too big to be a rat. Well, what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before I reverse part. You invented a uh -huh. machine and use it as a uh -huh. system? You, Micronic Crispies, are a four-dimensional what? Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Then why are you using it? Know if you were to get into irresponsible hands. Yes, that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my turning this crank here? No! Wait! Uh, which took me seven hours to beat. I mean, that's fair. <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my spontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? You who, Mr. Rufus? Huh? What? Wait a minute. I know you. You're Mr. McCronicle. McCronicle. But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Why has Tony got a glasses stacked? Furniture, but while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that. Also, at least back there. Park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon? No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Ha! What? Didn't I just see an elephant? Something strange is going Am I seeing things? <laughs> Stop. Perfect. Huh? Perfect fuck. Oh, no, not again. Uh, yeah, I might want to figure that out. Hey, Lucas, how are you going? How has your day been? Yeah, Lizzie was in the back, up there. Oh, it's still up there. Did it work? No, there was a pink elephant. No, you ran over the with eyes. Again. Oh my 
Which is, it looks, so it looked like it was in a suit. Um, apropos, you didn't happen to see a pink elephant, did you? Have you been drinking? Strictly speaking, lots, yes. But it doesn't mix with my medication. So it would appear. Yes, my reflexes are way below standard. Otherwise, the elephant would never have gotten away from me. Exactly. Now, where's the stupid thing hiding? Yeah, I need to find this pink elephant. I... I need to know where this pink elephant has gone. Hey, you went in the fireworks store? I'm assuming this is a fireworks store. Vernon has already closed up? Ah, I wanted emergency flares in case my highly flammable gas balloon catches fire. Very important to have. Never mind, I thought this plant was growing a firework, but I think the fireworks just placed in there. Uh, let's see. I guess we can go to Nilbot, I think is what, it's, what it is. Open the door. Grab some ice cubes. What we need here is a suitable container. I don't have a suitable container. At least not yet. Gonna... I'm, I'm just gonna... So, what else can we interact with? Um... I guess there's the crank. What if we just drive the chrono car? and less like a good idea to me are you sure you're well prepared this time you realize everything that you i'm sure it'll be fine will be reversed i'm sure it'll be fine um so this guy died in uh died in this uh, prequel um no it would uh rufus did die the dude in the background or the dude that we're talking to he's new and I think this would be a... Well, as people were saying, this is more of a what if. It's like, what if I think Rufus didn't die? Or if, I guess, Elysium... I'm not really too sure to be fair, because Tony's here. And Tony would, went up there with them. So I'm not 100% sure. But, um... Now let's just, I guess, wait a bit. I'm just gonna turn the crank. I can do it. I can do it over again if need be. The main thing is that the glasses remain intact. Well, yes, but perhaps with a bit more preparation, one could. Too late. We can go back as many times as we need. Which, if you go back in time, would they, since they're moving back, does that mean? They would stay the same age, or would they get younger by the few seconds slash minutes? Where else? Shall we have another go? I can hardly wait. Uh, well, right now you're in the time before Deponia. Okay. So I guess. So is this the town before it became? Like it was in Deponia 1, I guess. Is that maybe how it is? Because, like they said, it was... Rufus and Tony are still dating. That would have been before the town looked like it did, which is why I don't remember the town looking like this. And right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Little bit more. Come on. Little... Oh, come on. Come on. Yeah, it's there again! yourself you pigeon-hearted pachyderm hello yeah okay it is that makes a lot more sense uh, i can't believe this is happening uh sir problem the pink elephant's back well don't ask first i have to find some way of getting rid of that stupid pink elephant before we go out and try the whole thing again mm -hmm. okay so we can go up this way this is... Oh, oh, never again. You hear that, Chuck? Never, ever again. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? Everything comes back eventually. 
Oh. Rufus, just keep walking. Okay, well, I gotta hydrate and, and an ara ara. Okay. God. I feel like I do it worse every single time I do it. Ada ada. And then I'll do another one, as usual, because I feel like I never do it good. Ada ada. Hey, it's what's his name? Be with us. Oh, this is the front of the area. I see now. What are you guys doing here? Why are you playing? Why are you not playing music? So confused so far. I am a little confused, but now I understand where we are. This is the actual town. And what is going on? Hello, stranger. New in town? But Rufus. I attend the Barbecue Thursday Festival every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. And your name is? Zoon, current grill champion from Sierra Benzoli. Sierra Benzoli? Well, I always thought that place only had three inhabitants. Which doesn't mean that the title wasn't hotly contested. Fuego and Petro are also very skilled in handling methylated spirits. Shame that they weren't able to compete this year. Let me guess, an accident at work? Let's just say they should have made the shish kebabs with much more shish and a lot less kebabs. Less kebab. So what did they actually do wrong? But yeah, I guess that's why all these lights are off because they don't want an open flame near Rufus. Which I mean, Rufus couldn't possibly do that much. You know, he can't destroy that much stuff. I mean, sure, he's destroyed a lot. Like almost an entire ship and some other stuff, but eh. Bygones be bygones, it hasn't happened yet, so for now he's fine. Uh, yeah, do you know how to catch an elephant at all? Of course! Why do you think I've got an elephant gun back there? I thought it was to show off. Uh, that too, but elephant hunting is a great tradition for us. It goes back to the days when Hanagul and Hanagus both got the idea of riding over to the Amalgalas. I thought they were only looking for shillings for tusks. Which probably didn't make the meeting of their armies any less bloody. As you probably know, there's nothing more dangerous than an elephant with a toothache. No, there's an elephant in the area. Would you perhaps want to help? There's an elephant in the area. Ah, I'll only believe that when I hear back. Okay, well, all good. Take your time. Idea. Not exactly typical for an elephant. You sure that you don't mean a wombat or a groundhog? Yeah, I think I would know the difference. Quite a few people think that, and you end up having to collect them from the circus with wombat bites. Oh, poor Uncle Diego. Look, I. I have seen a few wombats before, and I know what a wombat looks like. And one, wombats aren't that big, and two, wombats aren't pink. Last time I checked, wombats aren't pink, at least. The last time I saw a wombat, actually, last time I saw a wombat was a few years ago. So maybe, maybe my memory is a bit skewed, but pretty sure it is an elephant. There really is an elephant here. You better let a professional be the judge of that. I am a professional. Perhaps in claiming to be something that you're not, but certainly not in elephant hunting. Or do you happen to have a hunting license? Ah, only beginners need a stupid license. Exactly, because the professionals already have one. Uh, can I borrow the elephant gun? Can I borrow your elephant gun? No, I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen to be a big game hunter. Ha! <laughs> If you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephants are child's play. Much too easy to hit. Professionals hunt small animals. Ducks or rats. A gun like or this won't do for them. You need a groundhog? Like a high precision blowpipe for that. Much more precise. Unfortunately, I'm clean out of darts and blowpipes. And bees for the nerve poison. If I can get you all that stuff, you'll let me have it. Um, I mean, a hairless baby wombat is pink. True. You have a point. But I don't know if that... I don't know if that... If that was a baby wombat, that was a very big baby wombat, is the, is the only thing. Unless it was a wombat in a suit dressing up as a baby wombat. Because there were eye holes. It looked like there were eye holes, at least. So it could have been entirely... Uh, adult wombat dressing as a baby wombat. Who knows? 
Could you build me a blowpipe? Yes. Then show me your license or take a hike. Damn it. Well, what have we got today? What's tasty today? What do you think? Barbecue Thursday is Groundhog Day. Wasn't Rampage Monday always Groundhog Day? No, Barbecue Thursday, I'm quite sure. Uh, well, I'll pass just the same. I'm just not big on leftover plot idea uh, groundhogs. Um, uh, what's sense with the lights? Hey, what why why are all the lights off? What's all this nonsense with the lights and the barbecue? It's what they call barbecue Thursday. I'm talking about you guys always turning off both whenever I get close. Oh, that's perfectly normal. Fire prevention measures. Don't worry about it. I wasn't planning on it. And I guess we better okay. get going. Bye, barbecue. Yeah, whatever. Okay, you guys, can you play music? Why aren't you playing? We haven't learned that song up by heart yet. And without light, we can't see the music. Then why not play something you know by heart? I think I can come up with something. Our hit, Rudy's dental work went wrong. <laughs> Let's listen. Oh, please don't. I've already had to put up with that howling long enough. Hell, it's much better than having to gaze at your muck all day. Hey, do you think that I suffer from ear potatoes? I don't know, maybe he does. They can't be sure. Hey, it's little Wenzel. <laughs> but back there, is that, that's the city gates, right? Then you can go down there. Hey, it's that lady that was in the, um, thing one time, and Hannick, and the dude that's up in the tower that does the music, and I have no idea who Rat Boy is. <laughs> Let's go talk to little Wenzel. Wenzel? Is that you? I thought you were a jack-o'-lantern. Honest. Very funny, but great to see that you decided to join in with Barbecue Thursday after all the hell I did. I'm just here to pick Tony up. Oh yes, the balloon. Have you really thought that one through? I know. A week in a confined space with her might make me suicidal, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be good for our relationship if I left the planet without her. I just meant whether you're sure about going through with the whole thing. You've split once before. If your plan fails again, you could break more than just the altimeter or your nose or the roof of the kindergarten. Don't worry, little man. This time, I've thought of everything. I didn't even bother to install an altimeter, for example. Tony trusts me, and rightly so. You'll see. Yeah, I don't know if she continues to trust you is the thing. That is not a potato. That is not a baked potato. That looks like a rock. Or you just got potato and rubbed it in some ash. One of the two. Rat boy. My Alfonso, Miguel, Garcia, D yeah, yeah, yeah. Rat boy works. No one can remember all that nonsense. Nonsense? I can't even remember what he said. He's one thousand. Rat, 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 rat. He's the rat boy. Oh, why is everyone so mean to me? Because oh. your name is so confusing to remember. And Rufus is just mean to everyone. Cricket nest or something? I keep hearing this chirruping from somewhere around my ankle. Ooh, honey. Wax? Ah, uh, okay. Don't open that up. Noted. Same again. Back, welcome back. Uh, did you find any eggs in previous deponia? Ah, uh, I found some of the eggs. I didn't find all of them though. I also didn't find any of the junk in deponia 1 from last game, and I didn't get the puzzle pieces or whatever it was in two but yeah because i think that's each one had its own thing to collect i'm pretty sure all right let's grab a baked potato Ouch, that cursed tuber hot. Is still glowing hot no did cool it down somehow. uh what is this carving i need a potato before i do that um hmm use some bubble wrap to grab the potato what they say when life gives you a potato you have a potato ah never heard that one before Rufus I don't think there's actually anywhere else like there is the barbecue the barbecue
never sees go out whenever I get close. <gasps> that can only mean one thing. I'm even cooler than I thought. That that's has to be what it means. Also, what is the most rocking game of them all? Can we play the game? Let the games begin. Do you have some mini to play games? Oh, yeah. Um, should try being the game again in Ruggle Jug? What is that if you don't mind me asking? Uh, what's that? Uh, what that option is only available in the OG Deponia? Oh, you mean where you have to, where you can collect junk and stuff? Is that what you mean? Or being the game in... I hope I'm saying it right. Grog... <laughs> two words. Sounds like two words put together and I can't say it. Struggle joke. What exactly do you see in that suit? Huh? Rufus, he's not the right man for you. Is he even a man? Huh? Yeah, struggle joke. I'd say he's more a complete loser. Shut your trap, Lotto. He's got no job, no manners. And the biggest thing he hasn't got, a future. I'm warning you, Lotto. Don't diss my friend. Ah, oh, come on, Tony. Wow, Tony's actually defending us for once. It feels weird. You heard Tony, Lotto. Leave her in peace. No, I want to know. You really believe he's going to get you two to Elysium? Huh? You're more likely to see me in a dress. <laughs> for the last time, Lotto, shut your mouth. You could have the pick of anyone, Tony. If only you'd open your eyes, you would see this. This here is a man. A real man. Lotto, please. A manly, beardy man. The furniture is brand new. How about it? You want to touch my beard? Huh? Chickadee, chickadee. Is it gonna be thrown out? Uh, funny, I have this twinge in my leg. I wonder if that means we're gonna have a storm. I think you can count that as a storm. Wait. Otto, what happened to you? You can. I was gonna say, we haven't seen Lotto at all, so I wonder what happened to him, but, um, I guess I know what happened. I'll take the straw. I mean, I'll take a free straw. Uh, best way to explain it? Okay. I mean, if you mean Super Meat Boy. All I remember about Super Meat Boy is it was hard. I still haven't actually even finished. Creepy? Yeah. He was being a bit creepy, to be fair. Only beat the man out of her? Yeah. I guess that's all you gotta do. Ooh. Was this dart there last time? I can't remember. Right, hey, Tony. I'm here. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. What did we agree about Snuggle Bunny? That uh, she's a choleric little viper with a delectable derriere? I was trying to make the point that I didn't want you giving me a pet name. However, good answer. Um, what happened to Lotto? Let's just say you went a step too far. Yeah, I keep saying that kind of thing can end up badly, but you still insist that I take out the garbage. I meant that figuratively. What? That, wait, that was you? Why? She said some ugly things. Ugly duckling ugly or your mama ugly? Your mama Anything ugly, I'm pretty sure. One. Uh, Bloom's ready to lift off though. Ready for lift off. You really Not related to Super Meat Boy? Okay. Of course. What kind of stupid question was that? Nothing exploded? Not yet. Or burned down? Nope. Or got broken? Nah. Well, I mean... Hmm. Two out of three. Much better than expected. Um... Yeah, those glasses... Yeah, I... Oh yeah, I gotta pack 
barrels as well. Did you get the bubble wrap? Well, yeah, but... But... Ah, the glass is broke. <laughs> I know you're only kidding, because you know that our relationship is dependent on those glasses, as what? well as your ability to drink without a straw. <laughs> <laughs> right. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it, it was a joke. <laughs> it's a complete joke. Funny, funny, not funny. Absolutely, totally not at all funny joke. Why would you leave the glasses here? Leave the glasses here? Do we really want to have this conversation again? I'm giving up a lot here. And all this with a rapidly diminishing chance that you will get us to Elysium against all possible odds. My only condition. I want to take my grandmother's glasses with us. I mean, I'm just saying, it's, it's a long trip. Not, not that something's <laughs> gonna happen to them. You said it was safe. It is, but... It probably is. Small risks. And For the I'm most part. Sure they have some really outstanding glasses on Elysium. Either I come with the glasses, or not at all. Yeah, it's... Totally forgot that yeah. I wanted to make room for the glasses. Just sit back down and relax while I take care of you, okay? <sighs> Just hurry up. I will, okay? Uh, Lonzo, how are you going? Hey, Lonzo. Same as usual. Quite the contrary. I want something new. Something else. Something exciting. Uh, you're out of luck there. I've only got the same as always. Nasty. Uh, then why do you even ask? Well, normally people only ever want what they already know. <laughs> Ordinary people, maybe, yeah. but I'm having none of that. Not me. You hear me? Not me! What was it? So Tony actually believed that he could go to Elysium at one point. Until all of his... F right where it is. No matter how hard I try, I can't imagine any situation whatsoever where I could find a use for this crap. I guess until, you know... Everything stopped working, and he never got, to, never had any good plans that worked for a while. And now we got a beard. Um, I think that's everything we can interact in with in here. All right, there's the throttle limiter. Hey, keep your hands off. Those are the darts championship winners. A darts competition. Oh man. Let me try. To enter. Please be careful. I lost two of my best customers the last time we played darts. Look, I'm sure I will do fine. And... Wow. He's just better. That's won you the darts championship. Here, take the first prize. Prize? Oh boy, what is it? A power inverter. Let's go. Which reminds me, I do want to leave a, um, a thing on, uh, a review on the Deponia Trilogy game. The review is going to be not enough power inverters, because there wasn't enough power inverters in that game. Also, can I? There's another thing there I can grab. The, the, the throttle limiter. Hey, keep your hands off. Those are the darts championship winners. How do I become a dart championship winner? Okay, but we have a few things now. Uh, I'm guessing one thing I can go is do is I'm probably gonna get some ice. Go to here. Go down to this thing. I should be able to get some ice from it. Music? Yeah. I mean, it's we get to hear the music as long as we're not too close to them. I'm guessing I can just put the glass there and get some ice. Shit. Nothing. <laughs> I guess I'll have to find the on switch first. Um What if I put it in here? Nope, doesn't fit. Wrong number of connections. This one? Hey, that could fit, but which way around? Nah, whatever. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Just shove it in. Just lean back and enjoy the cool Got it on the first try. I'm obviously on a winning streak. And then there's... Can you take this? Uh, yeah. No, it no. stays. Okay. 
fucking place. Uh, do we get ice now? Uh, yeah. I don't know if I want it anymore. There's also something we can still put there, but... Yes, I'll leave that for now. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can really interact with here. I've still got no way of scaring off an elephant, either. Let's go back to here. Do you want to talk to Tuck? Hi, Tuck. And a lovely day to you, too. Um, so is that piece? Was it a loft? So that last match kiss was a little off, was it? It's always the last trace of Nat's post-mortem kiss. Well, maybe you just don't know when it's time to stop. Do you know then? Ha! I always thought it was when you feel things couldn't get any better. Uh, yeah. Good luck with that, buddy. The pitcher goes up to the mouth until one buckles. Believe me, it's always the last bottle of Nat Piss that finishes you off. Just stop drinking until the last one. You should stop drinking. Stopping is not the problem. It's the starting that gets worse, I tell you. That makes sense. Um... Anything about visions? What do you mean by visions? visions? You mean stuff like pink elephants? I always thought that was a bit of a dumb cliche. But there really is one of those about the place today. Yeah. Anyone See? could be pink elephants. I saw the future. Nice. Future. Not just me. Not even close. It's gonna be terrible. Uh, oh, you're probably right. I'm dreading tomorrow morning. No, he means like a few years. Like the entire planet's gonna be blown up. Actually, no, it doesn't get blown up. It might, but not yet. Like I don't, I don't actually know if it got blown up or not. But anyway, um, I remember visions of uh, the future from becoming reality. I have to prevent my vision of the future from becoming reality. Professional advice: loads of alcohol reliably helps against even the most stubborn futures. Did he die? Because we haven't, I, I didn't see him in the, uh, normal Deponia. I'm just gonna assume he died. Blown up, yeah. Every time I try to save Tony's glasses. That means that I'm not a complete idiot after all. Look, I wouldn't be jumping to any hasty conclusions if I were you. Because the original plan was, um, they were gonna send someone down. See if people were still living on Deponia, and if there weren't people living on Deponia, they were going to blow up the planet, which would send Elysium somewhere where there's a, you know, new planet that's still, I guess, more inhabitable. Um, you want me to scare off the pink elephant? Let me scare the pink elephant off. It's gone already. I don't mean now, but... In the past. You want me to help you chase away an elephant from your past? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Been there, done that, got the message. I got exactly the same problem with my wife, Trudy. My strategy? Eh? <laughs> Drink to forget. Well, completely wrong. The trick, in fact, is to remember when time repeats itself. Huh? Great. So am I meant to remember something that hasn't even happened? Easy. You just have to, uh, get, uh yeah. So good uh, memory. How does that actually work? I should probably ask Miss Chronicle about that. You do that. That would be a good thing. I'll find a way to make you remember. Uh huh. I should probably ask Miss Chronicle. Yeah, ask Chronicle. Stay vertical. Draw me a sketch. I've never heard the saying "draw me a sketch," but yeah, I guess you should ask me Chronicle. Hey Max, world come to an end yet? I fear so, but I'll only be sure when it happens again. Um. Any temporal anomalies yet? Caught any temporal anomalies yet? 
That's not how it works. Maybe you're holding the fishing rods wrong way around. It's not a fishing rod. It is. Now it's fishing rod. And then you wonder when no one takes the bait. Uh, how can I remember everything? I right, that that was the question. Egghead brain box, maybe. Hey, solved for me. Dr. Gizmo had to implant this metal plate after someone sabotaged my catapult plan. Well, that could be a factor, but the screening only works if the hat is also lined with straw. Did that Dr. Gizmo insert straw into you as well? Straw? Oh, well, main thing, it works, right? Straw in my head? Who put straw in my head? Uh, there's a pink elephant running around. Yeah, I uh, have you seen a pink elephant? There's a pink elephant running around here that keeps bothering me when I'm guiding you back. A pink elephant? That's highly unsettling. It could be the vanguard of a pink stampede, or the time reset is having a detrimental effect on your central nervous system. No, no. I injected hot lead into my nervous system to double my imagination. I can't imagine how that would work. Well, I can. Yeah. He can't imagine how it went because he did it. And hello, but boy, I hope I said that right. How are you going? And welcome to the stream. Oh, uh, where were we? Right. I need to get rid of the pink elephant right away. I need to get rid of that pink elephant right away. Perhaps you should visit a doctor. No, I can't expect any help from Dr. Gizmo. I'm banned from his clinic because I sometimes snack on expired drugs from his lab. Maybe he should stop putting expired drugs in the trash can where you can reach them. Uh, can you turn the game volume up a bit? Yeah, I could do that. Uh, let me click out of the game. Come over to desktop audio. Turn that up to maybe minus 14. And that should be a little bit better. Let me know if it's better. Uh, this my dream might also be a temporal anomaly. My dream might also be a temporal anomaly? Possible. What was it about? I saved an Elysian from the Organon, and together we... Well, spare me the details, please. I'm sure that it was only a dream, and a rather common one at that. Okay. Yeah, I see how it is. Um... I feel like I'm not done yet. I'll see be back. sooner or later. Neither can be ruled out. Okay, so I'm guessing what we need to do is back in Kubark. Um... What if I just... Grab his muzzle loader. Can I borrow your elephant gun? No, I only loan it out to other big game hunters. I happen. Ha, if you were a big game hunter, then you would know that elephant much to profess a gun okay, like hmm. so how? And yep. Shush. Come oh, no. It's gotta be somewhere I haven't checked yet. Hmm. There isn't. There's only so many places. Slash ways I can go. Maybe use maybe this on the honey. Either the tap is missing, or they're warning us against Eskimos with dripping fountain pens. Either way, I think I should just keep my hands off for now. Noted. Um. How could I? I don't know how I'm grabbing this baked potato. Oh, great, they just fell into the grill. I'll never get the potato cooled down like this. Well, now I need to go get more ice. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, let's see. You want to talk to Lottie, maybe? Hey, Lotto. Call me. <coughs> Call me Lottie. <laughs> you're really a lady so now? you're really a lady now? Why? What's... <coughs> What's wrong with that? Did I say there was anything wrong with that? On the contrary, congratulations on this bold step. You know, to be honest, I've always had the feeling there was a great woman somewhere inside of you. You calling me fat? What? No! He oh, never said... I just feel so insecure. This is such a big step into the unknown. Don't worry, big steps have always been your trademark. Hey, it'd be totally awesome if... Oh. 
it would be totally awfully sweet of you if you gave me a leg up with an honest evaluation. Sure, as long as it's not a leg over. <laughs> Is there anything about the new me that could do with improving? Uh, let me think. Hmm. Hmm. I think there we go. Find, find the way you are. You are. Oh, you're charming. Um, I knew this, didn't she? You. What do you mean, who did this to you? I feel completely liberated. It's as if I've been trapped in an ugly great cocoon of ice for years. And now I've finally melted and been reborn as a beautiful blue whale butterfly. <laughs> butterfly. Blue that's butterfly. That's exactly what I meant to say. Blue butterfly is what he meant. Oh, okay, well, guess we gotta go. Right. Later, Gator. I mean, of course, uh, my deepest respects, ma'am. Okay, there's nothing else we can... Actually, we can still look at the blast map. Uh, we can't ding the bell, though. That all seems strangely familiar. Yeah, nothing else we can do here, either. Okay, we got to figure out... What we can do with the elephant. How could I deal with said elephant? Which, first things first, I think I need to get some more ice. Uh, thanks. What if I had more? Uh, no thanks, son. Okay. We don't want any more. What if I do this? Just because I didn't want Tony's glasses to get broken doesn't mean I've turned into a sissy. Not what I was going for, but okay. Let's try turn back time. See if I can do anything with all the new stuff I have. Do we want to turn back time again? I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea to me. Are you sure you're well prepared this time? You realize everything that you've done since the accident will be reversed. Oh. Well, what was the point? Do I get to keep the stuff at least? Right, I hate... If I don't get to keep the stuff, what is the point in going back? Because I don't know how I'd stop the elephant. Hmm. Again, only stuff here that I can interact with. Yeah, fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about nuclear winter. I mean, there is rope. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Mac. I'll take that as a yes. Let me know if you like a hint. Okay. I'm going to try something and then I'll get a hint maybe after. Do we want to I think I might turn back time again. Because I feel like we could set it up as a trap. Whatever. Too late. Nina, let me. <laughs> Here we go again. Rufus, are you there? Where else? Shall we have another trap? go? <laughs> I can hardly Yeah, I wait. think I can set up a trap. Not stop. Stop. You sure? I don't think I'm positioned quite right yet. Is there not a bit more room there? Still lots of room. You hardly moved. Then why are you shouting stop? So how are you meant to do it if you can't do anything before he comes? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. You sure? I don't think I'm positioned quite right yet. Is there not a bit more room there? Still lots.
lots of room. You hardly moved. Then why are you shouting stop? Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Shows it. That's, come on, come on, come on. Ha! Hey, show yourself, you pigeon hearted pachyderm. Hello? Huh. Uh, is this the other game? I can't this is happening. Y sort of, yeah. This is before de the normal, the first three Deponias. And this is the start of the fourth game, if that makes sense. Um, but boy. I think I said that wrong. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, gotta think with time. Yeah, I mean... The thing is, if I send us back, like you said, everything I do will be sent back to... Well, before I did it. I can't set up the rope. Because that would be reverted. Everything I grab also gets reverted. My brain can't handle this game. Don't, don't worry, mine can't half the time either. Well, don't hmm. ask. First, I have to find some way of getting rid of that stupid pink elephant before we go out and try the whole thing again. This is after the tutorial. Um, were you in the town already? Yeah, I've... I have been in the town, yeah. So this is Deponia... Of course, this is after all the other ones. I mean, before all the other ones. But yeah, I have been in town. Uh, if we go over to here... Over here... He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practiced, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus! May Tephanus be with us! Okay, and then I'm, I guess I can talk to them again. But there's not much point. I can talk to the... Hello, Zoon. No, that does count as just talking to Zoon. So. Okay. Um... Well then. Hmm. What could I do <laughs> to catch an elephant? Because even if I catch the elephant, if I was to somehow catch the elephant now, it still wouldn't help me. And oh my god, I've gone over time. <laughs> hey, Rufus! I didn't even Wait notice. A minute. Not now, Wenzel. I have more important things to do than to listen to your squeaking. You're still a jack o' lantern, just the same. Okay, yep, and then Lottie gets beaten up. Over time, yeah. I think I might as well just go till 7.30 and then pull it there. I am very confused. <laughs> I might take a hint if you're still offering Frenzy. Because again, I'm not sure what I could do to really change the past. Anyway, I guess we will do the dart thing again to get the thing. And... And it's quarter to eight. That's what I meant. But I'll go to 7.30 to give me another 15 minutes. Oh, quarter to eight. Oh yeah, here it's quarter past seven. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. Because again, I've done everything here apart from talking to Tony and Lonzo, which I've done before. I guess I could look at the dartboard. <laughs> A duck never gets old. And I can do something here with trying to cool down the baked potato. Um, I'm not sure how you could. Um. Well then, let the games begin. Do you have someone to play against? Me, me. Yes, exactly. What about the rat boy? He's not allowed to play. 
huh? Why not? Because he's still too young. He can play. Look at him. So you want to be a rat man? Then I have uh, the would you like a hint now? Yeah, hint would be would be good if you could. That's not going to hold like that. True. The plan still needs a little fine tuning. We need honey. And don't you go sneaking off into the sewers. We need to somehow get honey to stick on the kid's face. Hmm. Draw. They're warning us against Eskimos with dripping fountain pens. Either way, I think I should just keep my hands off for now. As if you're here in ice and near Wenzel. Okay. Well, I guess we better go get the ice then. And figure out what to do. So open up the thing. And bring him to life. Hey, that could fit, but which way around? Ah, whatever. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Chill back mode. Just lean back. Hey, got it on the first try. I'm obviously on a winning streak. Okay, there we go. Get that. Get some ice. Uh, thanks, man. That was real necessary. I don't like how he reacts when you get ice. Weird. Okay, what can we do with ice and Wenzel? We am without no, I didn't mean to talk to you guys. I mean, it's maybe like this machine fulfills Arby machine. but one purpose. It halves potatoes. Not everyone can be an all rounder like me. Mm hmm. There's the barbecue. If we walk away, we get water. Okay. And then with water, we can cool down the potato. Professor Rufus presents the miracle of heat exchange. Sweet. Now we can grab the baked potato. We can... Is it because I oh because you had to unwrap yeah we get the potato we put it in the in the potato halving machine we halve the potato now we have two halves of a potato what if you put them in there again well I need a potato quartering machine for that true true got a good point lemon and foil That's a little greasy but otherwise still quite useful. Can use the foil for the hat for the dude, but then we still need straw. But straw. That works. It's the latest thing. There we go. Now we come back here and go down and give you the hat. Vampire platypus. I saw it. What's that? A tinfoil hat. It'll help you remember. Then leave it where it is. I drink to forget. I don't want you to remember the past. Just the future. <laughs> Sounds like a change of strategy. As I have absolutely no future anyhow, it can't get any worse. That's the spirit. But if it's all the same to you, I'll use my own. Sure, of course. I would too if I put. Whoa, 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 wait a minute! What? You had a tinfoil hat with you the whole time? Must have been a flash of divine inspiration. I do so love nibbling the wrap off Matthew's bottle. I did, however, line it with straw in order to. I get it. You had a tinfoil hat. All that work for nothing. How incredibly hilarious. You see me wiping tears of laughter from my crow's feet. Can we finally move along here? Be my guest. But with what? Now, I don't want to bore you with details. Just remember this one thing. If history repeats itself, try to stop that pink elephant somehow. Yeah, okay, what the hell. It's the least I can do. 
I think so too. Okay, let's try it again. Let's go back. Perry the platypus. Yeah, Perry's everywhere here. <laughs> There's platypuses of every kind you could ever want. Turn back time again. I don't know. It seems less and less like a good idea to me. No, trust me. Sure you're well prepared this time. You Someone everything that will find the, accident the elephant. Be reversed. Yeah, I can do Whatever. I can the do it all again ready. if I need. Yeah, hopefully this helps <laughs> in some way, shape, or form. Uh, here we go again. Rufus, are you there? Where else? Shall we have another go? <laughs> I can hardly wait. Why doesn't he just give up at this point? Why? Why doesn't he just park there? Why does he need to park so Come close on. to the glasses? Come on! Come on! Come on! And why are the glasses just stacked like this? I have Come many on. questions. Come on. Come on. Come on. Turn now. A little more to the right. Careful. It's gone. A sweet wombat. Come back a little. Dodge the vultures. Forward a bit. And stop. Perfect. He did it. He Are popped. Are you sure that I can leave it here? 100%. Whew. Then the timeline is probably intact again. That means... What is that? Uh, I'm receiving strange values. Values? What are you talking about? No idea. I... Rufus! Quack! It's here! Hurry! Tuck! Oh, right. But maybe... Did he need to back up so he could go forward more? Um... Because, uh, and it took me about 90 minutes to figure this out when I played it. Yeah, I mean, if I didn't have your help, it probably would have taken me a lot longer as well. What happened? The pink elephant. It was here. I wrestled with it. For a short while, I felt I was winning. But then, it disappeared into the ground. If anything's disappearing around here, it's your grip on reality. Disappearing but elephants. you saw it too. I'm not so sure anymore. Maybe it was all just my imagination. Well, your imagination has a really hard left hook. I know. But enough of that. The glasses are safe and sound. Everything else is secondary. I'll go get Tony, and then we're out of here. I fear things will turn out different. I sure hope so. This game is that confusing yet? Yeah, it's... I mean, even the original one was... Confusing at points, but this one is very confusing. But I think I probably should leave it here because it's about basically 7:30 now, and I think I'll leave next episode for. I guess I want to talk to Tony, and packing up, and then maybe leaving. That's the plan. <laughs> it's probably not going to go that way, but um, yeah. Um, but it was a blast to play. Yeah, it is a very, it is a very fun game to play, especially with, you can never tell what is actually going to happen. <laughs> you can guess, but w if you're right, is <laughs> most of the time you're not. Um, you have about four to five more streams of this. Okay, so this game will be, a, is about... Uh, three times four, twelve, like fifteen hours long. Each one is three hours. Yes, yeah, so about fifteen hours left. Yeah. Well, yes, because yeah, I'm planning to finish this, and then after this, I think I'm planning to do the Witcher series. We'll do one and two, and then I have no idea after that. Yeah. So yeah. I'll probably be able to finish this game this week sometime. Probably around Friday. Today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, it's probably around Friday that I'll be able to do it. But uh, yeah, I hope you did enjoy the stream. Whether you're here from the start, halfway through, just joined. And thank you, Deads, for the follow. Uh, I don't know why my notifications aren't working. Oh uh, god, I had always have problems with my with my notification for some 
for some weird reason. Even after switching, it still doesn't work. Uh, thanks for the entertainment. Yeah, thank you for popping by, Frenzy, and thank you, <laughs> thank you for the hints when I have needed it. And thank you for popping by, Unicorn, Deads, and uh, now I need really remember something for boy, but boy, I think it was Bop, Bop, not but. Yeah, thank you. Everyone. I want to do one thing. Everyone popping around, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you in next stream. See ya.